everybody welcome back to our latest live stream i hope everybody's doing well this evening we have to get to a, a breaking situation currently over in wisconsin there's currently a tornado warning that has just been issued before we get too far into it make sure to like button and subscribe but let's get right into what's going on, on the radar right now uh we do have a tornado warning that has just been issued for areas near webster again this is currently in far northwestern wisconsin as well as extreme eastern portions of minnesota for reference again there is an ongoing tornado warning this is radar indicated rotation this does not mean there is currently a tornado on the ground but there may be one at any given time uh we've had actually some fairly strong rotation with this for the last few minutes so this warning obviously just got issued um in accordance to that ongoing let's go ahead and go over the velocities as of right now and you can clearly see here's your rotation it's really at that little inflow that we have going to the storm right now there is your rotation again that is where we have the potential for maybe a tornado developing over the next several minutes again here's a look at that reflectivity so you can see really right now on the back end of the storm where we have that inflow going into the supercell here's your hook again if there will be a tornado it would likely be located right about there again seek shelter immediately away from windows lowest floor possible interior room of your house again this is currently in northwestern wisconsin as well as far eastern minnesota again this is a brand new tornado warning this was literally just issued two minutes ago uh, by the national weather service in addition to that there's also a quarter-sized hail threat with this storm there's also damaging winds around 60 miles per hour ongoing with this cell and those winds might actually be higher than that um, i'm assuming they're probably closer to 70 right now so we do have very high winds with this storm in addition to that we obviously have the tornado warning ongoing again seek shelter immediately away from windows lowest floor possible here's a look again at the velocities as of right now uh they are very high as of right now i mean we're talking very high velocity winds that means that our winds closer to the surface are likely around 60 to 70 miles per hour in addition to that potential for a tornado threat with this cell so there's a lot to watch over the next several minutes this storm is also moving fairly quickly by the way it is right now near 77 and 48 again it's moving down to the southeast as of right now webster will be in the track of this over the next several minutes spooner as well as shell lake maybe a little bit later we'll see if this tornado warning gets extended beyond that but as of right now obviously we have to deal with the short term with this storm which again is going to be going over 48 here and as well as 77 and 35 within the next couple of minutes so again seek shelter immediately away from windows and lowest floor possible if you're in the track of the storm again your rotation and where that strongest rotation is as of right now is really on this hook and uh, along with that there's also a hail threat just off to the north of that you can see the black and pinks representing some quarter half dollar sized hailstones also possible up that direction which will also be going toward the 77 35 and 48 junctions over the next several minutes uh, again northwestern wisconsin eastern minnesota is where we have an ongoing tornado warning that has just been issued uh, by the national weather service let me go ahead and post this on our discord server because i've not done that yet And again, if you're just tuning in, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Again, if you hit the like button, it will help to get this stream out to more people that might be in this warning as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. Again, I'm a little bit sick, so I might sound a little bit weird here, but... Um Welcome back, everybody, by the way. Again, this is a tornado warning in northwestern Wisconsin. It is currently west of 35. And again, just off to the north of 48 is where we have that ongoing rotation. Next radar scan should be coming in here uh, momentarily. Again, the rotation has remained pretty strong to this point. We will show you the velocities again, probably within about a minute or so once we get the next radar scan. Uh, again, it's heading toward 4877. Waiting for the next radar scan. The latest one was about three and a half minutes ago so we should get another one here momentarily and it is coming in now so we'll give you an idea of what's going on there Again, here's a look at the storm as of right now it is very potent again it has been rotating for a while it just didn't have much organization up until now there's a lot of rain off to the north of this as well as you can see here a lot of more storms are going to be developing over the next several hours if you're just tuning in there is a brand new severe thunderstorm watch for a good portion of wisconsin minnesota is actually not included because most of the storm activity will likely develop in this area in northern wisconsin and move down to the south uh this watch goes until 2 a.m central time up to two inch size tail damaging winds up to 75 miles per hour and a couple of tornadoes are our main concerns tonight obviously we're already starting out with a tornado warning and it's only 8 20 p.m so far we might even see more from where this came from later so uh, that's what we're looking at as of right now let's go to the latest radar scan should be coming in here really within the next five ten seconds and uh, we'll give you an update on the what it looks like on radar. Again, this is a very potent storm. The rotation is likely now down here somewhere, probably closer to north of 48 and near 77 now. It is about to cross over into Wisconsin. Again, we're still in Minnesota where that rotation is for at least the time being. Uh, but we will have another update here for you in just a second. <clears throat> hey, Tim, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, no, this is not going toward Milwaukee. No, this is, storm is not going in that direction. 
This is uh, like Milwaukee shouldn't see much tonight. You'll see more activity tomorrow morning, most likely. All right, we have another Raider update. Let's hop right over to that. Here's a look at the velocities as of right now. And again, they are pretty high and it's really indicating really at least some really high damaging wind gusts. Uh, the ongoing rotation, as I mentioned before, is currently embedded in this area back up here. That's just off to the north of 48 and 77. We'll take a look at the correlation coefficient and see if we have anything popping up on that. And it looks to be so far at least some hail potentially, maybe a little bit of hail in here. I'm not seeing anything defined though where that rotation is so we can't really confirm anything by radar yet so uh just keep that in mind but obviously there may be something on the ground within the next few minutes as this heads down to the southeast or it even could happen in between radar scans that does happen quite often last night when we had a uh, cup we actually had four tornadoes yesterday uh two of them in michigan as well as two over in west virginia ohio and pennsylvania one crossed over three states if you saw that on our discord server uh you would know there was actually an ef2 tornado yesterday uh that crossed over from ohio into uh, West Virginia into Penn Pennsylvania and it was all in the span of about five minutes it only was on the ground for two miles it literally crossed over three states uh, but the tornado caused some significant damage that one was confirmed by radar I actually really personally confirmed it because it was very clearly on radar a tornado uh, unfortunately the National Weather Service had a miscommunication due to the uh, some for some reason the radar site or something like that was down but uh, there was another tornado warning after that about 735 Eastern time there was also another EF0 tornado yesterday so we had a couple of tornadoes yesterday during yesterday's live stream they may have been one in west or yeah one in like central west virginia we're not 100 sure on that yet but uh, again if you're just tuning in this is the ongoing tornado warning currently in northwestern wisconsin eastern minnesota again we are currently where that rotation is again it's embedded right here that is where uh we are currently at that's again eastern minnesota just north of 48 it will be crossing over to 77 35 and as well as again 48 over the next few minutes it will be entering wisconsin as well uh within the next probably two to three minutes maybe even now i mean it's basically it's, it's moving pretty quick right now 30 to 35 miles per hour down to the southeast <clears throat> I'm good, Somni. Thank you. Now, it's just more my throat right now. My throat and uh, congestion. I didn't realize my throat was this bad. Uh, honestly, I, it's kind of showing a little more on the stream. I don't know if you guys can hear it really, but yeah, again, I am getting over a little bit of a virus so, or something. I don't know what it is. Yes, the storm is currently rotating. Yes, that's why there's a tornado warning. It is very well rotating. Here's going back to the velocities um, as of right now. And the velocities, the storm relative velocities are glitched down here. But this is a look at the rotation as of right now. It is pretty prominent, more back up here, just north of 48. That's where really where our rotation is as of right now. And uh, that is where we have the inflow going into the storm as well. That's your inflow. Again, your hook as of right now. Tornadoes like to usually sit right about there. So uh, most the more likelihood situation right now is that there potentially could be something just north of 48. We don't have any reports quite yet on funnel clouds or anything like that it is close i think to sunset if not just after that we may be able to get something within the next few minutes in terms of maybe a few pictures it's gonna probably be hard though i mean we're getting pretty close to uh really it being pitch black out there uh, obviously lightning would help to aid to maybe be able to see a little bit of the uh, if there were to be a funnel cloud or something along those lines but uh, as of right now that's what we have going for right now again we do have five severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing i think two of those in, are in south dakota we currently have uh two over in the upper michigan panhandle this is the other one and obviously the tornado warning on going and this is the area again severe thunderstorm watch this is the area we have to watch tonight for not just damaging winds up to 75 miles per hour and the potential for head egg size tail also the potential for maybe a couple of tornadoes along with that and this could be one of those situations uh we do have a new radar update that has just come in here's a look at the reflectivity on the latest update uh hail is most prominent again just off to the north of 48 and 77 i don't know a whole lot of locations in this area it's not really showing on here but uh we are just off to the north of 48 where we have the largest hailstones probably at least half dollar sized hail there we see those little black colors showing up it looks to be a bit more rural maybe some farmland or maybe a little small town there uh going back over to the velocities on this storm this will look at as of right now again it is glitching out on the storm relative velocities but here's a look at the uh reflect or this is the regular base velocities you can see the rotation is strongest currently uh just off to the uh, okay so this is the location by the way this is near danbury wisconsin okay uh north of oakland okay so there's a couple areas not showing up on here but Danbury is right about here. Danbury, make sure you're in shelter right now. Oakland as well. Strongest rotation is currently right here. Again, that is just off to the north of 77. It is rapidly moving down to the southeast. And actually, the rotation seems to be strongest kind of in this little crescent here. So that little area, uh, we have a little bit of an inflow coming in. Again, your kind of hook is right here. It's actually kind of a weird setup here, but that's where our strongest rotation is as of right now. Let's hop back over to the correlation coefficient. 
and I'm seeing a good amount of hail. That's definitely prominent back off north of 48. I'm not seeing anything defined to the point where we have a tornado on the ground right now. You can see there's not really anything on the correlation coefficient picking up on anything beyond just the red and a little bit of orange colors. And a lot of the time when we have the radar site off to the north, looking to the south, it's likely picking up on some of the hail activity up in the storm. So as of right now, it looks like where the rotation is strongest. We're not seeing anything on the ground to this extent, but we very well could see it at any time. And again, it could even happen in between radar scans. So we do have to monitor the situation very closely again as this heads down to the southeast there's also an ongoing severe thunderstorm warning as i mentioned before that is in addition to this with damaging winds again upwards of 70 miles per hour possibly and as well as that half dollar size tail threat right now as this moves down to the southeast welcome back everybody by the way hope everybody's doing well uh, again i'm a little bit sick so i might sound a little bit weird but hey christopher how you doing welcome back Yes, there is already a tornado warning. Yeah, this storm's been rotating for a little while now, so it's not surprising that they added a tornado warning onto this. But uh, again, Danbury as well as Oakland are the couple of areas here that are really right now in the immediate track of this. Again, Danbury's back up here, and then we got Oakland down here. Danbury, you should already be in shelter. If not, I mean, get there immediately. The rotation's likely already over areas, so there might be something on the ground. We just don't know yet. Uh, back down just north of Webster, we have Oakland. Oakland, you should be in shelter as well. Uh, tornado warning has now just been condensed, which just basically means nowhere off here to the north of 48, basically where we have the hail on going up here. This is where the tornado warning was before. We are now a little bit condensed now, so that just basically means those areas no longer included but those up again near danbury oakland webster is slightly out of it if you're in northern webster still stay in shelter again this will be going towards spooner and highway 53 253 and 70 and as well as highway 63 those are the areas in the track on the long-term uh projections really not long term more like maybe 20 minutes from now so those areas make sure you're having your safety plan in place in case you do become into some sort of tornado warning at some point in the next several minutes Thank you, Patrick, by the way, for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Welcome. Hey, it, Andon, how you doing? Welcome back. Reptile, how you doing? Welcome. Thanks, Debbie. I appreciate it. Yeah, again, I am congested. It's more than congestion, more than anything. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Uh, we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning in the uh, upper Michigan Panhandle. That's near Marquette, and that's just off to the west of there. Damaging winds up to 60, as well as quarter-sized hail possible at that direction. Again, our main focus is this tornado warning for right now. We will hop over to other storms if there's no tornado warnings on the map. But uh, we do have six severe thunderstorm warnings. And again, this one tornado warning ongoing. This is, again, near 77, 48, 35 near Danbury. Oakland is also included and north of Webster. Again, this will be going towards Spooner. This is now the rotation has just crossed over into wisconsin so again we're in northwestern wisconsin as of right now hey missy how you doing welcome back uh jessica michigan will see storms most likely tomorrow more than anything again check out my latest forecast for the full details on that pronounce market is it really market or marquee is it marquee or market all right, let me go back over to the uh, velocities on this storm again. I don't think the next radar update's coming yet. Uh, it is actually coming in right now. But again, this is where the rotation is as of right now. It is the strongest right now near 77. Uh, again, moving down to the east, southeast, and really almost southeast at this point. That's kind of the direction it's going right now. About 35 miles per hour is the speed of this storm. We are getting our next radar update right now. So we will have an idea on the next reflectivity scans as well as along with the velocities on this cell as it moves down to the southeast. That's what we got going as of right now. Hey, Richard, how you doing? Welcome back. Actually, this isn't the first time. I've done, I think I did it recently, actually. I think a couple of weeks ago. All right, we have our next radar scan coming in. It looks like the storm might be getting kind of overcome here by some showers and storms down on the southern end, which might help to weaken it briefly. It might redevelop later. Uh, we'll take a look at the velocities, though, and see if there's anything notable still ongoing here. Let's take a look. Again, this is an ongoing tornado warning in northwestern Wisconsin. And the velocities update still showing some rotation there. It's not strong. There's still some rotation, though. They're just near 77 and 35. It has now crossed over uh, Danbury, and it's going to be just north of Oakland right now. Um, and it will be, again, moving down to the southeast. Again, seek shelter immediately away from windows and lowest floor possible. Luckily, the rotation seems to be weakening slightly. However, again, a tornado could drop at any time as this moves down to the southeast. Again, it is going to be heading towards Spooner. Shell Lake also on the track of that in a little bit. But again, that'll be a bit of more, more of a long-term track. Let me go over to the timing, give you an idea of what we actually have in terms of timing on this storm for the next several minutes 
Uh, again, storms moving about 35 miles per hour. We also could see many other storms develop from where this came from. So uh, things could change in terms of timing and whatnot. But here's a look at the timing as of right now uh, on really more of the short term. So Spooner, you can expect this storm at 855, maybe even a little bit earlier than that. Shell Lake 901, as well as Reserve 922. Birchwood right around 926. Rice Lake 932, as well as X Land right around 946. Bruce 10 o'clock. Lady Smith 1011. And Hawkins right around 1033. Again, that's your timing on this ongoing tornado warning in northwestern Wisconsin moving down to the southeast. And again, if you're just tuning in for the first time, hit the like button down below. It helps to make sure more people can be able to see this, especially in tornado warnings like this. And also make sure to subscribe button if you're just tuning in for the first time. I would appreciate it. Again, we'll keep you updated with the latest. We'll likely be live for a few hours here uh, with the latest and all the ongoing warnings. Again, we will have possibly another uh, ongoing tornado threat maybe a little bit later in Wisconsin. Again, there is a potential for an isolated tornado or two. This could just be one of maybe a couple of storms that we see with some rotation. We've had other storms rotating. Not to this extent, though. This one's definitely been the strongest rotation. Otherwise, we have more storms developing back out in northern Wisconsin. Those will have to be some storms to watch as well. We still have severe weather back up in the Michigan and panhandle we also have a severe thunderstorm watch in the, uh, south D dakota excuse me that is also producing the potential for damaging winds upwards of 70 to 75 miles per hour so a few areas to watch right now uh, also this actually does include webb lake wisconsin by the way so that's also a location that's just popped up on here so a lake is included in this uh that's north of 70 for reference was where we're at as of right now let me go back over to the velocities. Actually, the next radar update is coming in now. So we'll wait for a second to see what happens next. Again, your rotation as of right now is currently embedded in this area just along and east of 35 moving down to the southeast right now. Uh, Christian, it's overall a low threat tonight, but uh, obviously we've seen a lot of low threats before and we still see tornado threats. Obviously, a couple of tornadoes do occasionally occur uh, with even low tornado threats like this. So we do monitor them very closely, obviously. We had uh, four tornadoes yesterday, two in Michigan and uh, two over in Pennsylvania. So and there might have even been another one in West Virginia. So we may have had as many as five tornadoes yesterday, and we were live for two of them. So, yeah, there was definitely another interesting day yesterday. This is currently Northwest Wisconsin. Hey, Gabe, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, usual it's been decent I i'm honestly more than anything i'm just congested right now that's only negative but other than that it's been a pretty good day so far how's yours going all right uh we're gonna get our next radar update by the way in about 15 maybe 10 seconds so give you a little bit of an update on the velocities again the rain has kind of overcome the southern end here that might hinder the inflow going into the storm which might hurt the overall rotation as well so that would be some good news on this storm obviously if that were to happen it looks like that's kind of progressing here but we do still have an ongoing hail threat up here let's go over to the velocities let's take a look and see what we got in the velocities realm right now again the main rotation is currently down to the south of 35 and we're really east of 35 now and it looks to be more of a damaging wind threat right now i'm not seeing a whole lot of any tight rotation here let's hop down to the radar down to the south of this i'm gonna take a look and see if we have anything different on this angle and it seems to be broadening rotation here which is good news we still have a high damaging wind threat though i'm gonna take a look at the uh ongoing velocities in terms of the wind speeds and see what we can get for estimates on this because we are possibly talking some pretty high wind speeds right now with this cell uh that's moving down again to the south east and winds are currently estimated by radar around 65 to maybe up to 70 miles per hour that is near 77 so we definitely have some high winds here uh moving down to the southeast rotation seems to be a bit broader though than before which is good news but we definitely have some high winds a high wind pocket back up here near 77 and we might even have another one back up here to the north that is near uh west of minong saying the name right that's also another area where we have some high winds there and that's moving off to the east southeast as well that's also again included in that severe thunderstorm warning that we do currently have ongoing we do have another brand new severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued by the way uh, that is included for 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size tail that is currently ongoing near highway 63 that includes cable uh Sealy, round lake both in are all included in that ongoing new severe thunderstorm warning we do have currently eight severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing and uh, obviously this one tornado warning that seems at this be point at this point seems to be weakening a little bit which is good news but we'll still have to watch again the tornado threat over the next several minutes as all of these storms again move down to the south and southeast yeah, uh, Katie, there might be an upgrade to tomorrow's threat. I'm not I'm not opposed to that at this point. I do think we might, I don't know if it'll be up to an enhanced risk, but we'll probably at least be a slight risk uh, for severe weather tomorrow. And that would include anywhere, again, from Michigan, possibly even through, you know, potentially the Midwest and even maybe even to the Central Plains a little bit, maybe Eastern Kansas. But uh, overall, I think we'll probably stay at a slight risk. Can't rule out we get to an enhanced risk, maybe for damaging winds, but I think it'll be a pretty narrow area. I don't think we'll get there, but we'll see. 
Thanks, Ty. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you're just tuning in for the first time, hit the like button. I would appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is currently Northwest Wisconsin. That is where we're at as of right now. Let's go over to the warning details. And yeah, the warning is still ongoing till 8.45 Central Time. So we'll have another eight minutes on it. And obviously, we have the potential uh, for, again, severe weather outside of that. The uh, severe thunderstorm warning, I don't know if it's been upgraded to 70 mile per hour winds. And as of right now, it is still 60 miles per hour. Has not been actually updated at all yet. But uh, I would not be surprised if we went up to 70 miles per hour on this storm in terms of damaging winds. Again, it is a pretty significant damaging wind threat at this point as it moves down to the southeast. Welcome back, Shelly. How you doing? Oops. Yeah, I can't rule out that we get into an enhanced risk, KD. We'll see. It's, uh, it's, it'll be, I mean, either way, we're still looking at a pretty decent damaging wind threat tomorrow. I don't think we'll have much in terms of a tornado threat or even a hail threat. I think it's really going to be primarily damaging winds tomorrow. Low tornado threat. It's going to be pretty similar to today, but today's setup is obviously a little bit different. It's not nearly the same. And again, if you're in Webb Lake, stay in shelter. Again, that's currently included in this ongoing tornado warning. And it also includes anywhere in Oakland and, uh, Danbury as well still. So anywhere near 35 and 77 are still included. North of Webster. Uh, again, Spooner will be in the track of this cell. We'll see if it starts to rotate again in the near future. It seems like the rotation's brought down a little bit, though. But still stay in shelter just in case. So again, warning still goes until 845 Central Time. Yeah, lower Michigan, definitely not out of the question for severe weather tomorrow. Definitely a good chance out that direction. I think Michigan might get hit the hardest, honestly, in terms of severe weather tomorrow. Ethan, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Paul, I'm not feeling much better, honestly. I'm actually, well, I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't have a fever at least, but um, I'm merely congested and still have a sore throat. This is currently radar indicated rotation unusual. Hey, Weapon, how you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, tornado potential is 2% tomorrow. Again, that might get increased if we still have, if there's more confidence in that, but I don't think we'll see much in terms of a tornado threat tomorrow. I think it's primarily going to be damaging winds, honestly. We could even see a briefer week tornado here and there, but... Uh, I do think that overall potential seems to be pretty low tomorrow. Uh, we do have our latest radar update that's just come in. Looks to be uh, hail threats down to definitely to quarters at this point. Let's take a look at the velocities and see if we have any new updates in that department. And again, I'm not seeing anything overly defined that would make me think that we're going to probably get a new extension. But uh, we do have a high damaging wind threat right now. There is a little bit of uh, velocities back here. I believe that's due to the hail, though. That's definitely hail uh, related. But overall, the rotation, if there's any, it's really on the front end of this storm. It seems to be primarily damaging winds to this point more than anything again we are looking at damaging winds uh that have been currently estimated by radar i believe around let's see i think the latest one was 66 miles per hour was our estimated peak back up here it's around 69 miles per hour uh west of highway 53 so we're looking at some high damaging winds with this cell most likely the highest uh readings right now are currently just off to the west of highway 53 again that is moving down to the east southeast we do have some higher winds down here as well they are estimated to be between about 60 to 65 as well again i would not be surprised if we did get upgraded to maybe a considerable threat on the severe thunderstorm warning uh overall but as of right now again tornado warning is still ongoing for another five minutes we will see if we get new tornado warning if not i would not be surprised as i mentioned before but if we do, might be a little bit surprised. We'll see. Again, the rotation was a bit strong before, but we'll see what happens. Hey, Wep, how you doing? By the way, thank you, Andrew and Corey, for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Welcome. Again, if you're just tuning in for the first time, I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. We are the most honest forecasting here on YouTube. How high are the winds tomorrow in uh, mid-Michigan? Uh, winds could range, if you get a severe thunderstorm, anywhere from 60 to potentially 80 miles per hour. That's kind of my range at this point. I don't think they'll exceed much beyond 80. Uh, it would be a very, very isolated occurrence, maybe like one, one time, that sort of thing. Uh, but overall, I think the main occurrence would probably be maybe up to 80 miles per hour. That'd be about it. So that's tomorrow, though. Obviously, today's a little bit of a different story. I think overall, we'll probably see winds between maybe up to 75 at the peak. We might see that with this storm specifically, this one right now, Northwestern Wisconsin, this might have the best chance of actually getting to that extent of 75 miles per hour. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Hey, Nevin, how you doing? Welcome back. There's not a confirmed tornado. No, as of what I know, we don't have any confirmation. Thank you, Judy, for becoming a uh, Storm Chaser member. I really do appreciate that, Judy. Thank you very much. Appreciate you becoming a member. We are now only two members away, actually, from 100, which is our uh, month goal. And the number counts actually, I think, at the top left or right uh, now on my face cam. So... Do appreciate that though, Judy. Thank you. 
What's the story on this warning? Uh, there's not a whole lot of a story, but we had some pretty strong rotation back up here north of 48 and 77 and also west of 35. Overall, the rotation's kind of weakened a little bit since then. Haven't seen a whole lot recently. It's more of a damaging wind threat, I think, now, but we'll see what happens. Again, the tornado warning is still ongoing for another three minutes or so, three and a half minutes. We will see if there's any new updates from the uh, National Weather Service on this warning, but uh, as of right now, it does not seem like we'll get a new tornado warning on this. Let me go back over to the... Uh, let's see. Okay. So again, severe thunderstorm watch is ongoing, by the way, for northern and central Wisconsin uh, until 2 a.m. tonight, central time. Again, damaging winds, large hail being the main concerns. A couple of tornadoes, though, not out of the question, but we'll see what happens. We also have a little bit of an area back here near 35. This is near Danbury that has a little bit of hail there. That is probably quarter size. Looks like we have a little bit of a hail concern building back in up here uh, near 35 and 77. Sorry to hear that, Wep. Yeah, I, honestly, I've been, I don't know if it's COVID, but I've been sick for a while. Or at least for the last couple of days. I think since Sunday, more than anything, started to feel it. I've had this illness at least five times this year. I don't think it's COVID, though. All right, let me go back over to the velocities. Let's take a look. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Again, this is more of a hail-related area. That's not really rotation. Uh, back near the front end of this storm, that seems to be more of a damaging wind threat more than anything. Again, if we go back over to the current reflectivity, see it's a lot more rain and whatnot, but if we go over to the correlation coefficient, it's not really picking up on much. It's mainly just rain. So I do think it's more of a damaging wind threat at the front end of the storm. However, back in here near 77 and 35, that's again near Danbury. You can see back up here, we do have a little hail core on going. And again, that's moving down to the south and east. And that's kind of where it's going as of right now. That could also potentially pose a little bit of a hail threat. And we also could see a back and little you know rotation develop at some point too depending on what happens with this rain cool air uh but we will get a new warning here i would assume within the next couple of minutes again both warnings both the severe thunderstorm warning and tornado warning are currently projected to expire at 8 45 central time i would expect we get a new warning though uh, at some point within the next few minutes again the national weather service will likely issue some new warning we'll see what they issue uh, i would not be surprised if they at least put a tornado possible um on the new warning because again there has been some rotation we might see it build back in as well uh, by the way, we are currently at nine severe thunderstorm warnings. We currently have uh, one tornado warning. So that's what we got going as of right now. Thank you, Josh, for the $2 super chat. I appreciate that, Josh. Thank you. Hey, appreciate that, Josh. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, I don't have the fever anymore. It's more just congestion now and, any, and whatnot. But I think I'm getting better. <laughs> it feels like it. I am still a little bit more congested. Hey, Virginia, welcome back. All right, uh, tornado warning and severe thunderstorm warning expiring in 30 seconds. We will see if we uh, get new warnings on this. I would assume we do. Again, winds have been peaking around 70 to 75, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a uh, new warning on this. Severe so thunderstorm outlook for tomorrow changed. Did it just change, or you mean from earlier? Did it get amended? I don't think it got amended. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any change on tomorrow, at least recently. All right, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and take off the tornado warning tags for right now. Um, I'm going. I'm assuming we're going to get a new warning here pretty shortly, so we'll stay on this screen for now, and we will go over to the severe thunderstorm warning. I am fantastic. All right, there we go. And live right, all right, there we go. So uh, as of right now, tornado warning has, at least for now, expired. We will likely get a new warning on those storms here pretty shortly. Uh, let's hop back over to the east, though, momentarily. Uh, back over near uh, Marquis and Gwyn. This area currently seeing a large hailstorm. Look at this. This is at least quarter-sized hail in here near 95 and south of Highway 41. Uh, we are looking at some significant hail out this direction. So uh, definitely make sure you're staying away from windows if you're in the direction of this. This is near Ishpeming, uh, moving currently off to the east at about 30 to 35 miles per hour this is a serious hailstorm right now though moving off to the east there might be even some uh cumulative hail in here let's take a look at the correlation coefficient on this thing and doesn't seem to be much of accumulation but there's definitely some quarter maybe half dollar sized hail in here uh moving off to the east as of right now so again stay away from windows if you're included in this current severe thunderstorm warning <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me uh this is near highway 41 and 95 as of right now, again, it is currently moving off to the east. A large hail core, though. That black, again, representing quarter to half dollar sized hail. Uh, Ishpeming, again, in the track of that. Harvey, near Highway 41 as well, and as well as Market or Marquee, one of the two, are also going to be in the track of this over the next few minutes. Uh, again, we might be getting a new severe thunderstorm warning here shortly on the other storm but we'll keep you updated with that we also have another warning behind this for quarter size tail and 60 mile per hour winds that storm seems to be overall not nearly as strong as before 
And we actually do have a new severe thunderstorm warning. I just did not see this before. Uh, new severe thunderstorm warning for Spooner, as well as Birchwood, Shell Lake Reserve, Radisson, X-Land, Webster, all included in this brand new severe thunderstorm warning. Tornado Possible is still on this, by the way. Uh, damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour and half dollar size tail is now possible. So we have upgraded the hail threat a little bit up to half dollar size. Again, this storm is currently moving down to the southeast. Again, brand new severe thunderstorm warning here. Uh, Spooner, Shell Lake, Webster, Reserve, Radisson, X-Land, Birchwood, uh, all included. Again, Highway 53 is going to be in the track of this over the next few minutes and eventually going towards 70. Uh, really, this again, the storm that has had that tornado warning. We may get another tornado warning in the future. Again, tornado possible is on this. That means there's some broad rotation. Does not mean you have to panic by any means, but just make sure you're aware of it. Have a safety plan in place and be ready to get into shelter just in case we do get an actual tornado warning uh, with this cell. And again, we've seen tornadoes with tornado possible labels, so it's always a good thing to be on the lowest floor possible in a safe place just in case. But overall i do think the rotation at this given time has not been overly strong we'll take a look at it again and the leading edge as i mentioned before is where we have our damaging winds it looks like rotation not a whole lot there though and back in here we're not seeing a whole lot again more of this is just hail kind of uh, having a little bit of congestion in here near 77 but overall the winds are definitely high with this i mean we're talking at least 60 mile per hour winds back up here near 77 the radar is estimating up to 80 mile per hour winds now i'm not sure how accurate that is but uh that is been in the developments for the last several minutes in terms of the winds uh with this cell the winds have actually been pretty high up this direction i have some sort of microburst maybe situation ongoing up this direction so um again there might be winds as high as maybe 70 maybe even up to 80 miles per hour it's not out of the question with the cell again winds could go as high as maybe uh 80 miles per hour tonight overall the main threat again damaging winds this evening by the way thank you uh grilled as well as steven joyce eric and as well as sherry for all subscribing i appreciate it as well as caroline appreciate it thank you sounds good midnight market is it just, is it just market is that all it is hey evan how you doing welcome back yeah the winds on this storm look to be really high i mean at least cur currently according to the radar site um that's just off to the north of this it's not too far winds are currently estimated to be somewhere almost up to 80 miles per hour Again, that's going to be crossing over Highway 80. The winds have been high here for the last several minutes. Now, I don't think we have any METAR data in this area in terms of like an airport or something like that nearby. Uh, let me take a look at that. I mean, we, I can't rule out that we have a little microburst maybe going on here, but let me take a look if we have any METAR data over this direction. If we have any airports in the area, I don't think we do, but we will take a look. And no, we don't have anything close by. The closest one is down here near Siren. There's also one near Hayward, it looks like. Uh, but that's about it in terms of the metar data the highest wind gust over in siren was 17 miles per hour recently so that was obviously that was kind of probably associated with maybe just the winds on the outskirts of the storm that area did not get hit by the storm by the way uh let's go back over to the velocities again we'll take a look in the latest radar scan see if it's the same again next radar scan should be coming in here in a moment we'll take a look at that yeah winds near the surface seem to be extremely high on this storm which is quite interesting we definitely could have a microburst not out of the question here and currently moving down to the southeast Denver gets crazy weather. Are they getting crazy weather tonight? Hey, Bart, how you doing? Welcome back. Again, if you're just tuning in for the first time, hit the subscribe button down below. Like the video helps our page out a lot. Uh, let me go back over to the velocities. We'll take a look at those again. Um, as of right now, again, velocities have not updated quite yet on this. They were just estimating around 80. Again, that might be a bit of an overestimate, but it's definitely not out of the question. We might have some sort of microburst situation going, going up this direction. Uh, again, just west of Highway 53. Let's take a look at the warning details. They haven't updated yet. They're still 60 miles per hour. Again, this warning literally just got issued. Tornado possible along with the damaging wind threat as well as the half dollar size tail threat. Also, by the way, we do have seven flash flood warnings ongoing across the United States in different areas. That's also a new update, by the way. By the way, if you haven't already, join our Discord server. Links in the chat. Again, if you have any photos, videos, send them on there. You can also join our community off the stream. Uh, again, links are going to be from Nightbot in the chat. All right, let me take a look if we have any updates on the velocities here. Yeah, the velocities, this is the latest update. They're still showing above 80. I, I, I don't know. That might be an overestimate, but uh, that seems a bit high, in my opinion. Let's go down to the other radar site real quick. I'm curious to see if we can kind of match it up here. This is the one down in Minneapolis. Now, it might not be nearly the same. Uh, obviously, it's a bit farther away, but we'll take a look and see if it's kind of estimating near maybe the same winds. This radar site, for example, is estimating right around 50 to maybe 55. I mean, I'm not seeing anything above 60, but I can't rule it out. Again, we are in a pretty rural area. There's no airports nearby, so it is definitely hard to tell from that perspective. 
Uh, but again, it's here 77, 53. Stay away from windows. Stay at the lowest floor possible. Again, that's the best thing you can do in this sort of situation. And along with that, obviously, we have that potential for some half dollar size tail that can also break through windows if we have that hail threat ongoing. Um, let's take a look at this. We still have a little bit of rotation back in here, but I think that's mainly hail that's kind of congesti congesting excuse me, the velocities at this given time. If you look at the velocities as of right now, that's kind of where we have some like very broad rotation, but I believe that's more hail congestion more than anything. Back down here, again, we might have some sort of brief or weak tornado occurrence along any portion of this line of storms. A lot of the velocities are mixing in. It's more of just damaging winds, I think, more than anything, but I cannot rule out a brief tornado in this storm. Again, we still have a tornado possible label on this cell uh, right now. And again, this warning actually goes until 10 o'clock central, so it is actually a pretty long warning. And the storm is currently heading down to the southeast. Reserve, Spooner, and Shell Lake, you'll be in the track of this within the next few minutes excuse me one second all right again i'm a little bit sick so i had to blow my nose I'm congested all right sounds good kevin see you again soon uh cable wisconsin also has one Oh, there's actually a tornado possible on this one, too, up near uh, Cable, Wisconsin, which might mean there's a little bit of broad rotation up this direction. And it looks like we do have some rotation here. Actually, near Highway 63, there's some rotation. That is currently embedded in a little, looks like, inflow kind of going into the storm right now. A little bit of a hook here. That's kind of where our rotation is. There's actually a little bit of rotation here just off to the west of Highway 63 and 73. I'll be something to kind of keep in mind. Again, a little bit of rotation there, which is quite interesting. And this is another tornado possible, which means we have a little bit of broad rotation on going with this cell specifically. Again, that's currently heading down to the southeast near Highway 63. It will be going towards 77. It does include, again, Round Lake, Cable, Sealy, Spider Lake, and uh, Toda Gaddock Lake. Same name, right? Hopefully I'm not butchering it, but those are the areas included uh, in this ongoing, not just severe thunderstorm warning for 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size tail, but also a tornado possible, which again means there's some broad rotation potentially uh, in, in this uh, cell again we do have a little bit of rotation here there's a little bit of rotation ongoing we might actually get a tornado warning if it kind of strengthens in the next scan here's a look at the correlation coefficient not nearly showing nearly as much it doesn't show anything there radar just updated let's take a look and see if there's anything different here yeah velocities are still there they're broad they're not that strong but i don't think we'll get a tornado warning in the short term but we might get something maybe a little bit later if it can strengthen again there's a little bit of rotation though there uh again that's near highway 63 again those in round lake cable seedley spider lake make sure you're staying away from windows in the lowest floor possible definitely a dangerous storm out that direction have a little bit of hail again south of 77 and north of 70 that is likely our half dollar sized hail that is ongoing with this cell that's again northeast of webster spooner again is a bit more populated you'll be in the track of this storm over the next several minutes and here's a look at the velocity as of right now. Not a whole lot of wind. It's, I mean, there's a lot of wind, excuse me, but not a whole lot of rotation on this cell right now. Definitely, again, cannot rule out a brief tornado. Here's a look at the correlation coefficient all across the board on that leading edge. There's nothing really showing up. So we definitely don't have a tornado at this given time, at least on this given radar scan. Again, we may actually get some sort of brief or weak tornado in between radar scans as well with this cell. But uh, overall, it seems to be more of a hail threat and damaging wind threat at this given time, but not, obviously could change at any time. Uh, again, we do have six severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing, and we also have no tornado warnings at this given time. Again, that could change at any time, though. We just had one at the very beginning of this stream, so. Uh, will I be live tomorrow? I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Gabe, there, there's trolls on YouTube. It's all right. Again, if you're just tuning in, hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure to like the video. I would appreciate it. And uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the chat as well. I believe we're pretty close to 15. We might actually be able to hit 15,000 subscribers tonight. We're only seven away from 14,650. Uh, we're currently covering tonight the main states that we're covering. It's going to be Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, Minnesota slightly, not all on Michigan right now. We all are, excuse me, not, I just said Michigan. Uh, Minnesota, I meant a little bit of Minnesota, but I don't think we'll see much beyond now. Uh, South Dakota is also a state that we've been watching a little bit. South Dakota, we've actually had uh, an ongoing severe thunderstorm watch. There's actually damaging winds out this direction. Here's a look at it as of right now. 60 mile per hour winds ongoing, outflow boundaries mainly producing that. That is going toward actually So Falls, Del Rapids, 
Brookings as well on the track of it. And that actually might go beyond here. Actually, we do have a 70 mile per hour wind gust report that came in over in Howard in Minor County, South Dakota. So that's a recent report over that direction. And a lot of damage reports, obviously a lot of strong winds. It looks like winds ripped ceiling panels off a porch over in Lane as well. Reports of down power lines as well. Multiple tree branches down over in a wound socket at 8 o'clock. And it looks like also six inch diameter branches down over an artisan at 805 central time. So yeah, there's a lot of damaging winds ongoing with that area storms over in South Dakota. That's another area that we'll have to watch a little bit tonight. We also have some uh, recent reports, by the way, it looks like Michigan dot reports eastbound and westbound lanes are closed due to a down tree on the highway. That is at 8, 11 o'clock or 8, 8, 11, excuse me, uh, central time. That's over in Kenton. So uh, that is also another report that we have coming in over that direction. Again, damage is not out of the question with these storms tonight. Thank you, Mystic, for becoming a Storm Chaser member as well. I do appreciate that. We're only one member, actually, from 100. We might be able to hit that tonight. Again, if you want to become a member, top link in the description. But we're only one away. Again, I do appreciate that, Mystic. Appreciate becoming a member, and as well as Judy as well from earlier. Appreciate it. Hey, sports. How you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, but we had actually a decent amount of severe weather ongoing tonight. Uh, again, we actually were up to seven severe thunderstorm warnings. I think a new one may have just been issued. I don't know if it's associated with these. Uh, also, I'm not on the right radar site. We do still have one ongoing back over near uh, Market as of right now. This is, again, producing damaging ones up to 60, quarter-sized hail. Hail looks to be have gone down on this storm near Ishpeming, not nearly as pronounced as before. Again, that's going towards the radar site actually right now, so that'll be something to kind of keep in mind there. Let's go back over to Duluth and let's just stick on this radar site for now. I'll have to take a look where that new warning is. No, Cassandra, no. Uh, uh, yeah, for those that are wondering, by the way, there was a uh, post by, or that was by James Spann. He was, he's the big meteor. He's one of the bigger meteorologists. He's one of the more well-known ones. Um, it didn't really revert, revert to me a whole lot. I know the whole clickbait YouTube thing is crazy on weather. I don't really do it that much. And I'm actually probably the most honest person going in terms of that sort of stuff. I keep everything on my thumbnails real and to the situation. And I think every viewer that's been here for a while knows that all the videos and all the stuff on the thumbnails are all real time photos, basically, of what is probably going to happen there are some youtubers though and ryan hall really isn't one i saw him on the article but there are some youtubers that post a load of like hurricane images when there's nothing in the tropics it, it, that th those get me more than anything uh but yeah weather clickbait's an issue it's it's not really on my channel though it's it's more of it's not it's not even ryan hall it's more of just some of the other youtubers that post a bunch of hurricanes on thumbnails and like they go crazy with them but yeah james fan is a legend and yeah he, he's he's iconic i definitely agree with that But yeah, if you guys want to check out that article, by the way, I believe it's on my Discord somewhere. And it's also, you can, I bet, bet you can look it up too. Yeah, there are some people that clickbait a lot. I'm not really one of those people. And again, I do it to the most minimal extent I can. I mean, it's more of YouTube, like more of the thing at this point is the algorithm and you need to have some sort of way to get views. But honestly, it's more of just the overall essence of uh, just posting things that are just not true at all. These, all my forecasts are actually very honest. I mean, I think I'm more one of the more honest people, at least in terms of weather on YouTube. And obviously I'm studying it for college. I like to do this just more for fun more than anything. I don't really care about the, the money or views that come with it. I just honestly love doing what I do. It's nothing to do with, you know, viewers or anything like that. I think some people try to go way out for money and stuff like that too. So thank you, uh, Coco, by the way, for subscribing. I do appreciate, or actually becoming a member. Excuse me. I appreciate you becoming a member. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. All right, let's get back to the radar. Again, I kind of went off topic there, but that was actually something that got posted today. Uh, let me go over to, again. We're down to six severe thunderstorm warnings. I need to figure out where that new one was. And actually, yeah, we actually officially, I just realized that we hit 100 members. Let's get some claps in the chat, by the way. 100 members, that is insane. I didn't think we'd actually hit that, but I appreciate everybody coming a member on our channel. That helps, again, the expenses significantly on our channel. 100 members. Thank you, everybody, for coming to members. Thank you, Robert, for the $5 super chat, by the way. And also, Jeremiah, thank you for the $3 super sticker from earlier as well. I'm sorry, I missed that. Appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for the support. All right, let me go over to, uh, let's see where that new warning was. We have a tornado warning in Canada. Obviously, we won't really cover that. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning in Michigan. We know that. That's in uh, market. Also, a, a few severe thunderstorm warnings in South Dakota. And one in Oregon. That's That's the other one that we actually have ongoing way over here actually i'm just gonna take a quick look at this but uh quarter size hail wow look at this cell <laughs> this is definitely a hailstone cell here near white city that is actually pretty impressive i'm not gonna lie this is over in oregon <laughs> that doesn't i get these storms don't really happen that often that's over near eagle point 
I, I mean, we don't really ever see that much severe weather out that direction, mainly just due to the setup out that way. Uh, but the water temperatures are just so cold. You know, the overall rain during the summer is just so minimal. All right, let's go back over the velocities on this storm. Again, we do have a tornado possible on this. We'll take a look at the velocities here. And yeah, west of Hayward, as of right now, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Again, there's a little bit of rotation there. It's more of wind, though, more than anything on this cell. Let's go back up here to the northern cell. Uh, this one had a little bit more rotation more than anything before. We'll take a look at it. And I'm not seeing a whole lot anymore. It looks to be more of a wind component at this point, possibly around 60 to 65 miles per hour. That is, again, near Highway 63 and north of 77. So, again, this cell right now is producing quarter-sized tail, 60-mile-per-hour winds. Again, that is tracking down to the southeast. Uh, again, potential for damaging winds around 60 as well as some quarter-sized tail in that direction. Holy subscribers. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing, by the way. I won't be able to get to all of them. We have a lot of viewers for some reason. Appreciate everybody subscribing, though. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, by the way, everybody, for the congratulations. Obviously, you guys did it more than anything. I appreciate it. Uh, the 100 members, I, again, I never thought we'd ever get to that point. Obviously, again, this growth on my YouTube channel has just been so unintentional. It's not even funny. But I appreciate everybody subscribing, as always. Again, this is more of a passion thing more than anything, but I do appreciate everybody subscribing. And uh, we're only actually 16 subscribers away from 14,700. We might be able to actually hit 15,000 tonight. That'd be pretty crazy. Actually, no, this is not our new record. I think our record concurrent is like 1450. Yes, I did actually unstable. Let me try to see if I can find the tornado footage from yesterday. I know some people were uh, looking at that. Let me try to figure out if I have that somewhere. Hey, Evan, do you have that video? Or is it actually, it might be posted in our chat. Yeah, so there was a tornado um, in West Virginia. Here's a look at it. Let me go and show it here on screen. It's actually on our YouTube, by the way, on our second channel, More Max Velocity. There's also a video of it if you want to watch it for yourself. Um, and it's a pretty quick clip, but I'll go ahead and show you guys here on screen. This was by Jane or Jackson Holt, excuse me. So uh, this is a look at the tornado that happened over in West Virginia. This isn't basically his backyard, by the way. This was not a tornado warned cell, by the way, in West Virginia. This was yesterday. We were live when this happened. Uh, it went from Ohio into West Virginia and into Pennsylvania within the matter of about five minutes. It was insane. Uh, but again, that's from Jackson Holt. Uh, fantastic video there. Obviously, hopefully stayed safe. I mean, that tornado is so close for comfort there, right in the backyard. I mean, that's just insane. But again, that was from yesterday. That was not from today for reference. So this is not what we have ongoing as of right now. This is a completely different event that we're looking at tonight. Uh, Mystic, yeah, you can predict the ranges. Uh, they're obviously, they're not, I mean, they're not hard to predict. It's just, they don't happen very often. So when you predict them, you know, you're not gonna see them all the time. I mean, they only happen a couple times a year, typically. We had one recently. We only had one about a month ago. It's crazy to think it happened a month ago, but uh, we've had a couple recent. Yeah, that's a crazy tornado. Again, that was uh, sent in by Jackson Holt on Twitter. Yeah, it wasn't warned. And uh, the reason that there was not a tornado warning on that cell was due to a miscommunication with the National Weather Service. I can't remember what the local National Weather Service is, but there was a miscommunication. That is why we did not, there was not a tornado warning yesterday on that cell. Uh, there was a tornado possible though on that one, uh, which was primarily for that rotation that was ongoing. And that we actually were watching it. It was clearly on radar confirmed as rotation. I mean, there was no doubt about it. So we definitely had some rotation on that, without a doubt. Yeah, that was a crazy tornado for sure. Hey, bro, how you doing? Pittsburgh National Weather Service. Thank you, Katie. So yeah, the Pittsburgh National Weather Service, the Charleston one in West Virginia took over though after. Okay, so uh, let's go over to the hail on this storm. I'm going to go over the hail radar as well here in a second. We have not shown that yet. Uh, north of 70, though, that is where we have a hail core. That is currently potentially going towards Spooner as of right now and towards Highway 53. So, again, if you're in this area, again, make sure you're staying away from windows anywhere in the track of this. There is definitely some hail here. Again, 60 mile per hour damaging winds, also a concern. We could even see winds as high as 70. Here's a look at the velocities, as I mentioned before. I'm not seeing a whole lot in terms of uh, rotation, at least with the cell as of right now. It's more of just a damaging wind component. Maybe a little bit of rotation down near Spooner. We'll have to watch that closely. There's a lot more of a wind threat back up here near Hayward. And uh, again, that potentially could be up to maybe even 70 miles per hour. The warning as of right now, I don't believe has been upgraded. It is still 60 mile per hour winds and as well as half dollar size tail. This warning has been condensed a little bit. It does still include Round Lake, Cable, Sealy, Spider Lake. Those areas, again, damaging winds up to 60. Maybe a little bit of quarter size tail and also the tornado 
know, possible labels on that one as well. Let's hop over to the hail radar and let's take a look at what we got in terms of hailstones as of right now with the cell. Take a look what the radar is estimating and usually it's pretty accurate and uh, actually a lot of the recent scans are showing right between half dollar sized hail or so maybe quarter to half dollar sized maybe as high as ping pong ball sized hail at its peak so that's what we've seen so far with this cell so it has been pretty impressive all right let me go back over to this all right no problem, Pro Magic. Welcome back. Yeah, we definitely have some large ailier. That's just south of 77. Uh, the other cell, by the way, that's worn for quarter sized tails seems to be weakening a little bit. That's probably up to maybe dime sized health the most. It looks like right, maybe a half inch size. That's what's estimated by radar. The uh, radar estimates are usually pretty accurate on hailstone sizes. So that's what we got going as of right now in that regard. Let's go back over to the uh radar let's go back over to the live radar here's a look at as of right now again spooner currently getting hit with some rain at least if not maybe even a hail core coming to your direction again hail core is currently located right here that is moving again possibly towards spooner uh thank you gabe for becoming a storm chaser member as well i do appreciate it. you're a hundred and first uh, member appreciate that thank you Uh, this is currently, again, northwestern Wisconsin. I apologize. Yeah, again, we're in Wisconsin. We're going to be in uh, South Dakota, Michigan, and maybe, yeah, we might even be in western uh, Minnesota here pretty soon. There's damaging winds right now just exiting, basically, uh, South Dakota right now. So falls, by the way, 60 mile per hour damaging winds possible out that direction right now. So we do have some high winds, obviously, ongoing, and uh, that will obviously continue throughout the next several hours. With that line of storms that was actually uh this is a slight risk back out this direction now here's a look at the line here back over near so falls and brookings madison's also getting kind of hit with the more of the rain now the outflow boundary i believe is what's producing the highest wind speeds that's probably right around 60 miles per hour yeah that's currently going through brookings baltic and as well as uh, so falls possibly in the path of this here pretty soon uh can be in pipestone just across into portions of minnesota may get a severe thunderstorm warning here pretty soon again our most recent report was back over in howard of a 70 mile per hour damaging wind report that's in minor county south dakota just west of madison so we've had some actually some pretty high winds uh with these storms so far and again we do have ongoing i believe six severe thunderstorm warnings and we have one in oregon as i said before the other five right now one in michigan that's the upper panhandle we also have two right now wisconsin this is our area of development for tonight again severe thunderstorm watch goes until 2 a.m central time and we also have again a couple over there in uh south dakota those may also enter into potentially portions of uh, eastern south dakota uh traverse city are you talking about uh, isn't that down here yeah, you won't see anything tonight. It might be a morning threat for you. But yeah, uh, Michigan, anywhere in central, southern Michigan, you're going to probably see storms maybe tomorrow morning, if not the afternoon. Again, on my latest forecast, that has the full details for you. You can click my channel name and get the latest details there. Again, our largest hailstone sizes right now are falling right now north of 70. Again, that's moving down to the southeast. Definitely a lot of hail falling with the storm. Thanks, Gabe. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're happy to be a member. Make sure to uh, link your YouTube account, by the way, to Discord to get your role on uh, discord what happened since the beginning we've had a tornado warning so far um let me kind of go back Ooh, i did not mean to do that uh we did have a tornado warning earlier that was including this area here that was back up near oakland danbury as well as north of webster uh that did not i don't think produce a tornado it may have it's just not confirmed at this point the rotation was actually pretty strong there for a while but overall the rotation has been it's been there on this storm we still have a tornado possible ongoing it's just the only problem is with this storm the uh overall velocities are kind of like you can see right here on this storm on the eastern side of it there may be something there but i think more of anything it's just damaging winds on the leading edge of this ongoing uh supercell that's moving off to the south and east back over near spooner we had a little bit of rotation there briefly it looks like that's fizzled out we could see a brief tornado of some sorts with this area of storms it's just very hard to tell at this point just due to the fact of where it's set up i believe this is now outflow driven so that would kind of hit limit the overall tornado threat uh but overall i do think the uh, tornado threat with this storm is probably going to stay pretty low we do have a new update by the way a bit of a hail update here we do have now confirmation back up in web lake of ping pong ball sized tail so we do have that confirmed at this point this warning will likely be upgraded to ping pong ball sized tail if not maybe even slightly larger our hail core there is definitely growing a little bit again ping pong ball sized hail has just been reported by the public at about 852 central that was about 18 minutes ago but that is obviously ongoing with that hail core that we have north of spooner northwest of spooner so if you're in spooner bring your car to your garage get away from windows definitely a bit of a hail situation there that's ongoing and yeah that's currently moving down uh to the southeast 
yeah, tomorrow does not look great at all. I can tell you that. Tomorrow looks to be definitely a, a hail threat, or not just a hail threat, excuse me, a damaging wind threat more than anything. We could see a little bit of isolated large hail, maybe even an isolated couple of tornadoes, but that's about uh, what I'm forecasting at this point. Thank you, Patricia, for giving a $5 super sticker. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I appreciate everybody's support tonight. Uh, again, I will not be able to get to all the notifications. We actually have a lot of viewers tonight, which is weird. Uh, Grand Island, Nebraska, not much for you tonight. It's going to primarily be off to your north. If you see anything, it might be a little bit of rain. That'd be about it tonight. But again, we do have a couple of tornado possibles ongoing. We are now up to a considerable threat, by the way. Uh, we are now up to 70 mile per hour damaging winds and ping pong ball sized tail. Again, that's our latest update on this severe thunderstorm warning. It includes Spooner, Shell Lake, Birchwood, Exland, R Radisson, as well as Reserve. A few of the other areas are on the left side of your screen. A lot of smaller towns in that area as well. Again, a lot of areas actually included in the severe thunderstorm warning. But again, we have a recent confirmation of ping pong ball size tail. That has been reported by the public. We also have an ongoing potential for damaging winds as high as 70 miles per hour now uh, as this moves down to the southeast. Again, this will likely be going towards potentially areas like central portions of Wisconsin. Again, it is currently moving about 30 to 35 miles per hour down to the southeast. So again, upgraded warning. Morning. It is now up to 70 mile per hour damaging winds and as well as some ping pong ball size tail. Hey, Justin, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Ro, this is the most viewers I think I've actually ever had. Uh, most before this was about 1460, I think. What's the trail threat for tomorrow? Uh, can you not use my name? Really? <laughs> Jeez. I mean, guys, do not make YouTube names under my account, please. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's threat will be pretty low. It's going to be pretty similar to today. It's going to be an isolated tornado threat. That was kind of funny. I, I've seen that a couple of times. All right. Uh, back to the weather, though. Uh, let me go back over to the velocities. We'll take a look at that. Again, I'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation on this. It's mostly damaging winds. The uh, highest wind speeds, though, were, again, it's up to 70 mile per hour damaging winds now this morning. Highest winds are actually estimated to be about 70, just south of Highway 63. So we are definitely seeing some winds between 65 to 70 here. So, again, there is definitely a high damaging wind threat going towards reserve. Maybe even a Hayward. I mean, it's estimating as high as 80, but I just don't think it's up to 80 right now. It seems kind of a bit high uh, on this sort of storm. I can't rule it out, but I do think it's a little bit high. Uh, again, the storm currently moving down to the south and east. I know I'm aware of that killer. I'm aware of that. Again, if you're just tuning in, hit the subscribe button down below. We're only two subscribers away from uh, 14,750. Again, if you hit the subscribe button down below, I would appreciate it. And we do live streams like this all the time. Most honest forecasting here on YouTube. By the way, uh, is anybody actually near these storms? I am curious. Again, Northwest or Wisconsin, or even any of the storms in general, is uh, anybody near these storms? I'm curious to know how much lightning is ongoing with them. The uh, lightning maps are currently estimating in northwestern Wisconsin about 50 strikes a minute. So it seems to be a bit frequent. But is anybody near the storm right now? Any, any of these storms in general? Golf claps in the chat. Yeah. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate it. Max viewers. There you go. I know Dobbs is crazy. Uh, again, my this growth and how many viewers I have right now is so unintentional. It's not even funny. I never even thought I'd even get anywhere close to this point. It's more of just, I love doing what I do. St. Louis. St. Louis is not going to see these storms tonight. I think the severe weather for you is actually done for tonight. It's uh, primarily occurred this afternoon, if anything. Yeah, overall, the uh, storm activity in St. Louis, minimal tonight. You might have a chance for severe weather tomorrow, though. Again, latest forecast has those full details for you. This severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, is expiring. I don't think we'll get a new warning on this. I don't have a new one, at least at this point. Uh, we'll take a look at how many warnings we have in a second. And we are currently at four severe thunderstorm warnings. But again, the uh, main one as of right now is pretty large. And again, 70 mile per hour winds and ping pong ball size tail. Along with that, we do have a tornado possible, which means there's some broad rotation. And we very well could see a tornado brief or weak at any time. So that's kind we're looking at right now again this is currently tracking down to the southeast northeast maine is in total danger okay i don't think anything's going on up there thanks i appreciate that uh i don't know how to say your name isabel maybe appreciate it yeah oklahoma has been pretty dry recently uh let's go back over here real quick looks like we have a little bit of a yeah, the hail core is ongoing here. Looks like we have a little bit of rotation trying to develop back here. 
have to watch that closely. High winds as well near 70. Again, high winds seems to be the biggest threat with the storm right now, but we do have, obviously have the hail core back here near Spooner. That is, again, the recent report is ping pong ball size tail. So we are at least looking at ping pong ball size tail with this storm. Again, tracking down near Spooner and Shell Lake, but looks like we might have a little bit of rotation trying to develop back there near 70. We'll have to watch that closely. I'm reading chat, but I can't. There's just so many people asking different things. High winds can cause a tornado. Um, okay. But it's more of rotation, but you need more rotation more than anything. I mean, obviously, high winds can cause, you know, some rotation, potentially produce a tornado, but you need more of the vertical shear and whatnot. Uh, let's go back over. We do have a new severe thunderstorm warning. I believe this is actually, uh, we're still at four severe thunderstorm warnings, but we do have a new one now in Minnesota. Uh, that is going to be associated with the outflow boundary. So again, brand new severe thunderstorm warning. Actually, this is a large one. This includes actually portions of South Dakota too. This is a very, we have four severe thunderstorm warnings, but all of them are pretty large. But uh, here's the outflow boundary. Again, that is what's producing damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. That is heading towards Tyler, Pipestone, Slayton, as well as Marshall will be in the track that soon. Again, stay away from windows, 60 mile per hour winds possible. We do have a recent report of 66 miles per hour of a gust over in Kingsbury County, South Dakota, over in Oldham. So uh, that is our most recent report. We did have a 70 mile per hour damaging wind report over in Howard at about 820 central time. So we've actually had some pretty high winds at this point. So falls, by the way, gonna get hit with that outflow boundary here pretty shortly. You definitely cannot roll out maybe some winds as high as maybe uh, 65 to maybe up to 70 miles per hour up that direction um let's see what radar site should we go for it we'll we'll stop with this radar site for now again the hail course currently near spooner i might go to the northern one here in a second though guys just for reference um stream elements is a bot they're not a person yeah yeah no, but if there's not any photos that's totally fine you can just moderate yeah i mean it's probably better to moderate we have like 1500 viewers i don't know why crazy i'm glad everybody's staying safe though again we're primarily in wisconsin minnesota michigan and um as well as south dakota tonight those are our main states obviously if anything happens outside of them we'll get to them but uh, those are our main states tonight but obviously there's a lot of severe weather still ongoing this is our most significant supercell right now producing damaging winds around 70 along with ping pong ball sized tail and we don't have any new updates on this warning but that's what we got going as of right now crazy storm going here though we obviously this was tornado warning at the very beginning of our stream which is why i really went live um and i was planning on going live anyways tonight but uh, Gabe, go to hashtag uh, member help on our Discord server to link your thing. By the way, if you want to join our Discord server, link's in the chat from Nightbot. Again, you can join our community off the stream as well. And also, also you can send in photos. We actually post uh, tornado updates too. We actually had a tornado uh, confirmed. An EF2 tornado actually happened yesterday in West Virginia. It was sustained winds of around 120 miles per hour, confirmed by the National Weather Service. So, we did actually have a confirmation of an EF2 tornado. That was a strong tornado over in West Virginia. Uh, the Ohio border crossed into three states in about only about five minutes. It was a two mile long tornado and it literally crossed into three different states. That included Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania. I mean, you just don't see that very often, um, really, in terms of tornadoes, especially that short term. I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. Uh, we do have some rotation trying to develop, by the way, here. Again, wind's going away from the radar, going toward the radar. This is definitely counterclockwise uh, rotation as of right now near 70. There is a little bit of rotation trying to develop here. Uh, again, that's just west of Spooner right now and northwest of Shell Lake. I think a storm to be watching for fairly closely here. No, Matthew. Hey, LF, if you have any videos, you can send them into our links in the description. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and um, on Discord. All those platforms you can go ahead and send anything to. Sounds good, Unstable. I'll take a look at it soon. Yes, uh, Jess, if you want to take a look at the uh, severe weather tomorrow, again, go to our latest forecast on my YouTube channel. That has all the details in terms of timing, threats, all that uh, for Michigan tomorrow. All right, let me go back on to this radar site. I'm curious to see. This storm does have a little bit of rotation. We'll take a look at the other radar site, too, along with it. This is the latest radar update right here. So we'll take a look if there's any really crazy rotation here. This is at 918. So there is a little bit of rotation here. It's not strong, but there's a little bit there. 
I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we get a tornado warning on this, but we'll see. There's more of a hail threat, obviously, near Spooner right now, north of uh, Shell Lake and as well as north of 70. That will be crossing over 70 here pretty shortly, up to ping pong ball sized hail in this area. Damaging winds along with that as high as 70 miles per hour also possible. And obviously, there is a tornado possible on this, so we very well might see some sort of rotation here pretty soon. Definitely a dangerous cell, though, to say the least. Hey, Planet, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Jess, we'll see. I, I don't know about tomorrow night. I don't think the storms will last through the night hours, but I might go live in the afternoon. We'll see. See what happens in Michigan. It's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of storms tomorrow without a doubt, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, if I go live again, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to be able to see the event tomorrow as well. Uh, make sure to click the bell icon as well down below so you get notified. If I go live, I might. We'll see. It's going to depend on what, what the timing is on it, but... Thanks, thanks, Larry. I'm actually sick, so I might sound a little bit different, but appreciate it. I am uh, pretty congested right now. All right, we are currently on six severe thunderstorm warnings. I have it actually at four. We're at six. And uh, again, warning count is at the bottom of your screen. If you're wondering how many severe thunderstorm warnings there are ongoing, we do have flat five flash flood warnings. In addition to that, that is not included in that warning count and uh, two special marine warnings. That's about it. We don't have any tornado warnings yet. This might be one, though, that we might get soon, depending on how the rotation goes over the next two scans. But uh, as of right now, there is definitely some rotation here. Again, I would not be surprised if we get a tornado warning on this. Uh, again, west of Spooner near 70. Correlation coefficient shows a little bit. I think that might be more of hail than anything, though. Yeah, we are looking at the northern radar site. Let me go back down to the Minneapolis radar site. We'll take a look at that one. This is near 70. Yeah, we do have some rotation still, even from this radar site. They're both showing a little bit of rotation there uh, near 70. And obviously the hail core right here that is currently drifting down kind of the south and southeast on 70 that is kind of where the hail is as well the ping pong ball sized hail threat again we do have a confirmation of ping pong ball sized hail uh just off to the north of spooner that was in webb lake for reference just five miles to the southwest of webb lake so again we might see some sort of tornado warning with this potentially soon if it continues to strengthen it's definitely something to watch though very closely again we are currently in northwest wisconsin with this ongoing severe thunderstorm warning uh again west of spooner yeah, there's definitely some rotation. We'll, we'll watch it closely again. We're going to be live here for a while, obviously. We got a lot of warnings ongoing. Again, this is one of the uh, most potent storms as of right now that we have on the radar. Definitely a large hail core, too. That is a lot of hail falling there, most likely. We might be talking, I, I don't know, we might be as high as ping pong, maybe up to golf ball sized hail there. Correlation coefficient is picking up on that hail as well. You can kind of see it popping up here. We're looking at the northern radar site, so the initial hail kind of shows up here, and we see more hail here. That very well could potentially be up to golf ball size now. Um, up that direction definitely not out of the question again currently moving down to the south and southeast how about lower michigan again same thing for tomorrow check out my latest forecast that's all the details for you that's the timing the intensity everything that you need to know is on that forecast all right, uh, nothing tonight, by the way. Lower Mich Michigan's not going to see anything tonight. You might see some stuff in the morning hours, though. By the way, the severe thunderstorm warnings over in uh, South Dakota entering into uh, Minnesota right now. Just a little bit of an update on that. Damaging winds are still around 60, maybe up to 70 miles per hour. That outflow boundary is now about to enter into Minnesota. It has not yet. It is about to. The outflow boundary is what is producing the damaging winds. It is not the storms. It's a little bit of a confusing thing for some people, but it's at the outflow boundary. It is well out in front of the storm, so stay away from windows and uh, don't be outside obviously outflow boundaries do happen a little bit in front of those storms i'll show you guys here in a second i'm gonna see if we had any uh any sort of new warnings on this though first i'm gonna look in the next velocity scan see if we have anything going with it the uh, next radar scans coming in here momentarily and also green bay uh more of an overnight threat into the early morning hours for those areas as well new warning in california really california has a severe thunderstorm warning we actually do have a new warning so it must be that one i'll take a look at it here in a second Uh, any of this coming to Green Bay? As I mentioned before, again, Green Bay is going to be more of a tomorrow threat. And check out my latest forecast for the details. From Ella. All right, let's take a look at the velocities. We got our latest radar update. Again, hail is still ongoing here near 70. Let's take a look at the velocities. We'll take a look and see if we have any uh, rotation still ongoing with this. Still have a little bit of rotation. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if we got a tornado warning here. There's definitely a little bit of rotation there near 70. 
So yeah, there's definitely a little bit of rotation there. We'll have to wait and see again. That might strengthen. Uh, I'll hop back over that here in a second. Let me make sure I'm on this screen just in case. Uh, we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning over in Minnesota. This is near Canby st leo and your boyd again that is associated with the outflow boundary again if you're confused on what i'm talking about the outflow boundary is well out in front of these storms and that is what is producing the damaging wind component upwards of 60 to maybe even 65 miles per hour again that is about to cross into 14 um, in minnesota so again if you're in minnesota western minnesota specifically again make sure you're staying away from windows and be inside again that is a, a dangerous outflow boundary again producing damaging winds around 60 miles per hour obviously there is rain and maybe some lightning behind it that will not be nearly as as much of a concern though obviously a bigger concern right now is the uh damaging winds this is a severe thunderstorm morning over in california by the way for those that are curious here's a look at it that is near uh eureka if i'm saying the name right as well as west of montague producing damaging not really any damaging winds it's quarter sized tail though that is uh looks like in the mountainous region so again rare severe thunderstorm warnings on going over there in oregon as well as california again i'm not going to cover those a whole lot but we do have a little bit of obviously some warnings on going there which again is not very common it is pretty rare at that direction especially by the way during the summer we don't typically see that too often all right, back over here to uh, Wisconsin. Eureka, okay, thank you. Uh, Ella, if you want to send me any videos, again, links in the description. You can send it on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, or on Discord. All those links, again, in the description below. Again, if you're just tuning in for the first time, hit the subscribe button down below. We are only actually 12 subscribers from 14,850. I would appreciate it if you subscribe. It means the world to me. And uh, again, we'll keep you updated with the latest on the severe weather. We do have a new update on the severe thunderstorm warning, by the way. Uh, it is still 70 mile per hour damaging winds, and obviously the ping pong ball sized tail threat. It has been condensed, so it no longer includes areas just off here to the north of Spooner near, it looks like Highway 63 in Hayward. That area is no longer included in this warning. It is now still including Exland, Birchwood, as well as Spooner and Shell Lake. Let's go over to back to the velocities. Uh, we do have another new severe thunderstorm warning, by the way. I'm not sure what the exact location is of that one. It might be back over there in. Uh, California. Uh, let's go over to the velocity. So we'll take a look and see what we got in terms of wind speeds right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, currently southwest of Hayward. It seems like the winds right now around six, maybe 55, 60. The radar off to the north, though, is estimating higher winds back up here. I don't think we have any really close by radar sites after the central uh, Wisconsin doesn't have a whole lot of radar sites. But <clears throat> excuse me. Again, these storms are currently moving down to the south and southeast. This is a look at the velocities. As I mentioned before, highest winds, by the way, really associated here. That's west of Shell Lake. That is where we have high wind speeds. That's possibly 70 right there. And then back over here near Birchwood and Radisson and Exland, that area here, mainly on the leading edge of this area of storms, probably right around 60 to 70 miles per hour right now, moving down to the south and east. So that's where our highest wind speeds are as of right now. Again, near Spooner, just west of Spooner, near uh, 70, as well as northwest of Shell Lake. That is where we have that potential for ping pong ball size tail, maybe as high as golf ball size, uh, moving down to the south east or south and southeast right now so again they'll be crossing over 70 in a few moments and yeah, make sure you're staying away from windows with that sort of hailstone size is moving down that direction all right again if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the chat sounds good uh, katie sounds good yeah definitely feel free to send me in any photos especially on discord that's like the easiest place for me to look at them yeah, it'll be an interesting day tomorrow over in uh, Minnesota, especially Minnesota, anywhere over there in the uh, Midwest or Ohio Valley. Definitely be an interesting day of severe weather tomorrow. Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate it. We're currently in northwest Wisconsin. Uh, let me go back over to the warnings. We currently, I believe, have eight warnings. Yeah, we have eight severe thunderstorm warnings and uh, five flash flood warnings and two special marine warnings. Those are our warnings as of right now. And obviously, we could very well see any tor another tornado warning at some point. We'll have to see if we have any more rotation. Again, this is the one storm that has had some rotation here for some time. We'll see if it ever does kind of strengthen. We've seen a little bit of a peak here near 70 in the latest two scans, but it's kind of weakened out in the latest scan. We'll see what happens, though. And this it, this area, really anywhere in Wisconsin, has probably the best chance or maybe an isolated briefer week tornado or two. We could maybe see one or two tonight. Again, the watch goes until 2 a.m. Central Time, so it is going to be a elongated watch, at least for another four and a half hours. But obviously, we could make the tornado threat will likely be the highest within the next couple of hours, most likely. Yes, Ali, you can. And send them on there. Yeah.
California thunderstorms near the uh, McKinney fire. I got you. Okay. That, I mean, the lightning obviously wouldn't help, but if there's any rain, that'd be pretty beneficial at this point for that fire. Check rotation on what cell? Are you talking about this one? All right, we're currently at six severe thunderstorm warnings as of right now. Again, this is the one over in northwest Wisconsin. The uh, velocities on the lay of scan not nearly as impressive as before. Again, it seems to be more of a damaging wind threat at this point as it moves down to the south. I would assume we get a new severe thunderstorm warning potentially pretty soon as these storms start to kind of go towards maybe Rice Lake, maybe Lady Smith. So we might get a new warning here pretty soon. I would not be, uh, that wouldn't be out of the question. We do have a new damage report coming in over in Big Bass Lake. That is south of Market in uh, the upper panhandle of Michigan. A tree downed as well as damage to a power mast on the roof of north side of West Bass Lake. That was reported by a meteorologist, by the way, um, over in one of those stations. So that was one of our most recent reports. We do have a recent wind gust report by, back over in South Dakota of 60 miles per hour at Stone Bridge. So that is our latest update up that direction as well. Obviously, we do have a lot of severe weather ongoing. And we're from South Dakota back over to Michigan. We also have some severe weather, severe weather on the West Coast as well, which is just crazy to think. That area has not seen much severe weather at all this year. So uh, we do have a new brand new tornado warning. This has just been issued uh, for Siren and Shell Lake. Again, brand new tornado warning has just been issued. Seek shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible. Brand new tornado warning has just been issued. This is again over in Northwest Wisconsin. The warning is for Siren. That is where our highest wind, this is actually a new area of rotation here near Siren. Again, a brand new tornado warning has just been issued. Seek shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible. This is again, a possibly a dangerous situation if this tornado can develop pretty quickly. The velocity seem to be pretty high too on this one. They're fairly tight right there. Uh, correlation coefficient not picking up on anything yet. We very well could see a tornado at any time, though. Again, it does include Siren. Brand new tornado warning. Do the uh, tornado command, by the way, in chat. Again, if you're in this warning, seek shelter immediately away from windows and lowest floor possible. This does include Siren and Shell Lake. The rotation is currently back up here near Siren. That is where we have our ongoing rotation. Go back over the velocities. Yeah, we still have tight rotation here right now. There very well could be a tornado on the ground. It's just... Uh, the correlation coefficient not picking up on anything yet, but we very well could see one at any time. It might even happen in between radar scans. So again, get away from windows immediately. Lowest floor possible. Can't say it enough. Again, just south right now of 70. Moving down right now to the east-southeast as of right now. Again, very dangerous storm right now has just developed up here in northwest Wisconsin. This actually kind of came almost out of nowhere. This is the back end of where the storms were developing. So we very well could see a tornado any time with this. Warning, by the way, goes until 10 o'clock Central Time. Uh, rotation was, there's a little bit of rotation back up northwest of Shell Lake earlier. That seems to be a, a been cut off. Uh, let's go back over to the velocities as of right now. Here's your rotation near Shell Lake, or excuse me, near Siren. Here's a look at the correlation coefficient. Again, it's not picking up on anything yet. We very well could see, though, a tornado at any time. This is uh, definitely a very strong rotation, though, right now near Siren. Again, it is going to be embedded with that inflow ongoing right here. Again, here's your hook. Tornado typically located right about there. That is now east of Siren and south of 70. That is currently where we're at with this ongoing tornado warning. And pretty dangerous storm right now. It's just all the kind of sun developed here. And uh, obviously, tornado warnings ongoing. Get away from windows, lowest floor possible. Make sure you're seeking shelter if you're in this warning. Again, Siren is the main area included. It also includes Shell Lake. South of Spooner, by the way. I know Spooner's a little bit more populated, so anywhere right here along 70 and south of 70, you should be in your safe place right now. Yeah, this rotation is pretty strong. Let's go back over to the velocities. This is a look at the uh, velocities as of right now, currently. The winds are definitely pretty high here. That's, again, near 70. Definitely some very high damaging, or not damaging winds, excuse me, pretty high rotation right now. Pretty strong rotation in this area near 70. You know, we very well could see a tornado any time with the cell. We will be keeping an eye out on any uh, media, by the way, if we see any sort of, you know, photos or videos of this storm. Obviously, it is nighttime, but you never know. With all the lightning we have out there, we very well might get a few photos or maybe a video. Are the sirens going off in siren? I would assume so much. I mean, unless they don't have sirens. I mean, the town's called Siren, so you would kind of think they might have Sirens. All right, let me go back over to the velocities. We have our latest writer update that's come in. And again, ongoing velocities. It looks to be light, slightly broader, maybe, on the latest scan. A little bit broader here. That is where the rotation, though, is currently. It's kind of embedded again in this little... There, there's your hook. Again, here's your inflow. It's kind of embedded, though, up here just now, east-northeast, almost the Siren right now. 
Again, we may have even had a brief tornado here. It's kind of hard to tell, though. The correlation coefficient has not picked up on anything so far in terms of debris. So uh, at this given time, we haven't had any confirmation of that yet. We do have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning for damaging winds up to 70, by the way, and a tornado possible on this over near winter, by the way. We will get to that here pretty soon, but that is a, a new for, uh, severe thunderstorm warning out that direction. Is a severe thunderstorm warning in Florida? Really? What time is it? It's like 1035 over there. Is that from earlier? We are at eight severe thunderstorm warnings. And again, this is our one tornado warning. Again, rotation is currently centered right there near Siren. And these radar updates are coming in pretty often. So we will likely get another radar update here pretty shortly. Yeah, this has been, honestly, this whole line of storms has been getting outflow dominant. Just kind of, it's a weird thing, but the uh, storms are kind of developing back over here. So we might get a brief tornado here, and then another one might develop back out here to the west. That's kind of been the pattern so far with this area of storms. So it's definitely not out of the question that that kind of occurs here over the next few minutes as well, as these storms get moved out to the southeast. 1996, Siren got hit by an EF3 tornado. Really? Huh, I didn't know that. Let me go over here. Again, ongoing rotation. We got actually our latest radar update. Let's take a look. This is again east of Siren right now. The sirens are likely going off, I'd assume here. Uh, let's look at the velocities on the latest scan. And again, here's your rotation. Again, not nearly as strong as what we saw in the first couple of scans. Again, I can't rule out maybe a brief tornado here or there with this sort of storm. Again, it's moving down currently to the east-southeast. It's out of the question, though, that we get something brief with this sort of storm um obviously again the tornado warning goes until 10 o'clock central it just got issued six minutes ago but definitely a dangerous storm here without a warning really that's crazy that's that's crazy but yeah if you're just tuning in hit the subscribe button make sure to like the video make sure this gets out to more people again if you know anybody in this warning if you are in siren or you know any friends or family in siren wisconsin or shell lake make sure you're messaging them just make sure they're okay make sure they're in shelter uh, again there could be a tornado at any time and obviously the more that you can get the message out to people in the short term it could very well help them maybe they're like sleeping or something like that i mean it is 9 40 so it's not out of the question that these people might even be sleeping right now so uh, just make sure you're getting the message out to them you do not have to share my live stream by any means just make sure at least they're in the safe place make sure they're aware of this ongoing tornado warning again this is south of spooner i know spooner is a bit more populated obviously shell lake and siren i'm not entirely sure i think they have at least some sort of at least 10,000, 20,000 people i'm not entirely sure that the exact number but uh, we obviously have some people in these areas that obviously are in this tornado warning right now and uh, obviously the rotation right now is just east of uh, siren right now but it's currently west northwest of uh, shell lake it's gonna be going off that direction here pretty soon uh, Katie, I will get to that here pretty soon. But thank you. Appreciate it. All right, here's the latest look at the radar. Looks like we may be starting to lose that outflow. And again, it might be coming, becoming uh, outflow dominant. I meant inflow, not outflow. Uh, but it is likely becoming outflow dominant right now. This is the latest radar update. We still have some very minimal rotation. Definitely can't rule out that we have something here. But it seems to be overall pretty minimal, I would say, in the latest scan. That's, again, just south of 70 and east of 35. So that's our latest update here. But again, never know. Might be a brief tornado any time. It could even happen in between radar scans. So I'll have to watch that pretty closely. Let me go over to the uh, correlation coefficient here. I'm not seeing anything defined by radar here that's indicating that we have a tornado on the ground right now. This again, kind of matching up with the correlation coefficient. That is where our rotation is. Here's a look at the correlation coefficient. Now, if we go up to the other radar site, uh, somebody was saying that there's... If you go up to this radar site, it shows it a little bit better in terms of the uh, it being on the ground or something like that. But I just don't think that's true. If you look at the velocities here, again, I'm not seeing anything tight on this radar angle. It's it's broad. It's not tight. Nothing's showing up on the correlation coefficient, though. It's mainly between these radar skins. But again, we could see a tornado at any time. Could even be brief. So again, anywhere west and south of Spooner, make sure you're in shelter. Shell Lake and Siren still included in this tornado warning for the next several minutes. It's a pretty dangerous situation right now. Got okay, a tornado could drop at any time with the cell. Scott Ugly and Birchwood, thank you, uh, Nan, for the report. Hopefully, you stay safe over that direction. There's definitely some damaging winds around 70 miles per hour, possibly with that storm. So uh, just make sure you're staying away from windows. 
uh, in that warning, obviously. Couple, uh, many warnings ongoing right now. Hey, Douglas, how you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, but by no means is this this is not a PDS tornado by any means. This is not at this given time on the ground. As, as of what we know, it is a radar indicated rotation. Now, the correlation coefficient has not shown any debris so far with this storm. Regardless of there actually being some pretty decent rotation, I mean, we still have some rotation here that's I mean, it's not tight, but it's definitely there. It's moderate to maybe even a little bit on the stronger end, uh, east of Siren. But we very, very well could see maybe a you know brief tornado of some sorts with this at any time. It's it's kind of that environment tonight. Obviously, it's going to be probably coming outflow dominant here pretty shortly. But a uh, tornado could happen in between now and the next few minutes. Definitely not out of the question. Uh, we're currently looking at, uh, right now, this is northwestern Wisconsin. But we are also looking at Minnesota as well as uh, Michigan and even florida i know there's a warning down in florida we'll get to that here pretty soon and as well as south dakota and again if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the chat again if you're just tuning in hit the subscribe button we are now only 100 subscribers from uh 15 000. crazy if you hit that tonight yeah if you have any questions about any of the warnings ongoing feel free to leave those in the channel try to get to them uh we're up to now we're up actually up to nine severe thunderstorm warnings we are at one tornado warning still this is the one tornado warning that we have ongoing as of right now Again, east of Siren. And here's a look at the rotation as of right now. The strongest rotation is currently located here east of Siren. Uh, this is the 940, by the way, radar update, just for reference. That's our strongest rotation. Again, it's embedded in that inflow right now. Let's look at the storm relative velocities for reference. Storm relative velocities have kept it tight for a while, but I'm just not seeing anything at this point, at least. The correlation coefficient has not shown anything at this given time of there being any sort of debris being lifted up in the atmosphere, which is very good news. At least it looks like we don't have anything on the ground yet, but obviously that could change at any time. We very well could see it even happening between radar scans. Thanks, Jeremiah. I appreciate it. Appreciate your super chat again from earlier. Uh, Twin Cities, probably not much tonight. Might get some icely damaging ones, but that'd be about it. Hey, Hannah, how you doing? Yeah, here's a little bit more of a wide view at as of right now. Tornado warning, as I mentioned before, two severe thunderstorm warnings, both of them producing as high as 70 mile per hour damaging winds, and as well as up to ping pong ball sized tail on this warning over near Shell Lake and Spooner, and around possibly quarter sized tail back over near Winter. So that's kind of what we have as of right now. Again, tornado warning, though, is the biggest concern as of right now. Definitely could produce a tornado anytime. Uh, Weston, Wisconsin. I don't know where that is, right, guy? But if that is in southern or far eastern Wisconsin, you're probably not going to see anything tonight. If you're in central, anywhere in the severe thunderstorm watch tonight, that is your best chance for some isolated severe weather tonight. Stay safe, uh, Ask by the way. Stay, stay safe in Spooner. So, yeah, that's that's definitely a dangerous area there with some winds, at least. I, I don't know what you've seen so far, but there were winds possibly as high as 70 over that direction. So, Central, yeah, you might see some severe weather, right, guy? I mean, the main threat's probably gonna be damaging winds for you. Yeah, here's a look at the velocities. Let's go back to them. Velocity's not nearly as tight, it looks like, on the Well, they're still pretty tight, at least on this radar. It looks like right now, you can see the highest velocities here. You see the other higher velocities here. It seems to be a little bit of a split there. I mean, it's not nearly that strong. It looks to be really strong here, but I do think there's a little bit of a split there. But looking at the correlation coefficient for reference, we're seeing a lot of red here. That means primarily rain. I'm not seeing any debris at this given time either. So uh, it is a little bit confusing because, again, radar sites are kind of a little bit further away from the storm right now. But, again, if you look at the velocities right now, rotation is primarily east of 35. Let's go back over to the storm relative velocity here. Yeah, I think the uh, rotation overall is likely broadening out here, which might be good news. But we'll have to wait and see. Again, this seems to be coming outflow dominant. Warning goes until 10 o'clock central, but we might get it canceled or something like that here in a few minutes. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Sarah. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate it. Appreciate you subscribing. Uh, Dan, primarily it's just United States. I do okay. I'll occasionally dive into a little bit of Canada weather. I don't do it very often. All right, let me go back over to uh, here real quick. Do we have any uh, damage reports or anything like that? I don't think we've seen any reports beyond at least the hail report that we had earlier. Yeah, you know, there's ping pong ball sized hail reported, but that's all I've seen so far. 79 mile per hour wind report in South Dakota. Really? Was that recent? I'll have to get over those storms here pretty soon if that's recent 
That's insane. Yeah, those storms have been pounding through those areas. Hey, Asha, how you doing? Yeah, I'll probably be live here for a while. Yeah, these have been crazy storms, to say the least. All right, tornado warning going for another 15 minutes. Let's see if there's any new updates on this. Yeah, it's still capable of producing a tornado. Again, still radar indicated rotation. No new updates on the warning quite yet. I do think it's becoming a bit more outflow dominant, though, which is, again, very good news uh, overall. But again, still staying shelter if you're in Shell Lake. Siren, if you're on, like, the western end or anything like that, maybe northern end, you're fine at this point. The rotation is now really further down to your east. So if you're east of 35, stay in shelter. But anywhere back up here to the north or west, you're probably fine at this point. Uh, main threat, again, anywhere in this area. Damaging went up to 70. Ping pong ball size tail possible as well. Rotation is currently centered back off to the west of Shell Lake. Now, Shell Lake will be next on the track of that rotation. Here's looking at the velocities as of right now. I'm not seeing a whole lot in terms of high velocities at this point. I'm not seeing anything that strong. But again, tornado could happen at any time. It could very well redevelop, but I do think the chances of that are still low. But it is very well good to stay in shelter for the next at least 14 minutes until the warning is either canceled or uh, upheld. We do have new hail reports coming in, by the way. Dime-sized hails report over in uh, Hertel. That's west of Spooner. We also had a little bit of... Uh, looks like around the same size, maybe around dime size hail in Spooner again. Uh, that was around 935. So we have a couple of new hail reports coming in there. So it looks like the ping pong ball size tail threat may have gone down at least over in those directions. Uh, yes, Dust, this is the same exact storm. Yep. This is, uh, I mean, it's more of a complex at this point. We have really it's more of a line now but it was all forecast to develop we're supposed to see some sort of line like this kind of develop a little cluster that was supposed to develop this evening and this is all kind of associated with that now so yeah that's what we have going as of right now I will check the storms in Minnesota here pretty soon. Um, after the tornado warning either, either gets canceled or whatnot, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning that has now been issued out in front of this. Tornado possible label is on this as well. Uh, that does include areas like uh, Frederick as well as Lady Smith, anywhere over in Rice Lake, Cumberland, as well as Barron, Hagen, all included for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour, as well as quarter size tail. And again, tornado possible is on this. So, uh, again, rotation is definitely going to be something to watch tonight. We very well could see a couple of brief and weak tornadoes tonight. So, keep that in mind. No problem, Just. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Isaiah, I know a lot of people need rain right now. Uh, tornado warning is still ongoing by the way it will continue and it looks like until 10 o'clock so it will not be canceled there's still rotation there uh so we're gonna still watch this very closely but a uh, warning goes until 10 o'clock central time again it has been condensed a little bit still includes shell lake as well as western and southern shell lake so it still includes those areas right here along 70 and just down to the south again these areas all included here in that warning pink box is your tornado warning and again it goes up until uh, 10 o'clock central time. We still have a little bit of rotation there. It's not much, but there's a little bit in here. It's 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 there. It's just nothing that strong at this point. Okay, it could very well have, spawn maybe a brief tornado at some point in the next few minutes. We'll have to watch this still very closely. It's, it's stay in shelter. Away from windows and lowest floor possible as this moves down to the southeast. Can Shell Lake possibly in the track of this as well. Yes, anywhere in Michigan, again, check out my latest forecast. Has all the details for you tomorrow. That's for tomorrow, though, not tonight. So be weather's possible there tomorrow. This is currently Northwest uh, Wisconsin. All right, back. Sorry, I, I again, I'm sick, so <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of streaming while I'm sick. I don't take sick days. All right, let's see. Uh, as of right now, we have a tornado warning ongoing. That is really the main uh, concern. But we also have severe weather in Minnesota, South Dakota. And this is really, really where we're at right now is uh, obviously Wisconsin. Uh, we do have the damaging wind potential as high as 75 tonight, as well as the potential for hail up to the size of hen eggs and the potential for maybe a couple of tornadoes. That's what we're looking at right now. Uh, on so Antonio, no, not tonight. Tomorrow, yes, but not tonight.
Yeah, Virginia, I'll take a look maybe soon. Again, there's a lot of severe weather, though, in the United States that I'm going to probably primarily be covering. But yeah, there's a lot of severe weather up in uh, Canada as well. It's, it's been it's, it's a very active night really all across the uh, northern hemisphere tonight in terms of weather and whatnot. By the way, we are 44 subscribers currently from 15,000. If you have not hit the subscribe button, make sure that down below. Uh, if we do hit 15,000 subscribers tonight, I might give away five members. So uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, yes, let me post the link for the... Uh, yeah, I haven't really been posting it. Let me post the link in chat. Uh, Evan, if you want to, too, uh, just the latest forecast for those that are asking. Uh, I'll, I'll spam it a couple of times. Yeah, if you want to watch our latest forecast, it's in the... it's posted by me so that is all about the timing for michigan tomorrow as well all right 16k now 15k all right let's go ahead and go to the velocity sorry i Got a little bit distracted there and sidetracked, but uh, let's go back to the velocities. Again, I'm not seeing much on this storm. There's still obviously the tornado warning on going for the next few minutes, but I'm just not seeing a whole lot of rotation there anymore uh, in terms of at least west of Shell Lake. We do have obviously a lot of severe weather on going. We do have a brand new flash flood warning that has actually just been issued for Spooner, Shell Lake, Trego, as well as Webster, Stone Lake, Birchwood, a lot of areas on the left side of your screen included. There is now a flash flood warning on going until 1245. That does include the potential for maybe a few inches of rain that might include some minor street flooding and whatnot again turn around don't drown if you're in these areas i know a lot of you guys are watching right now from maybe areas like spooner or birchwood again there's now a flash flood warning that has been issued again that is a de definitely a bit of a dangerous situation we've seen some dangerous flash flooding recently hopefully we don't get to that extent here but there's probably gonna at least gonna be a few inches of rain out there so that very well could cause some havoc there on the roadways Let's look back at the velocities as of right now. Again, uh, as of right now, the warning still goes until 10 o'clock Central Time. Uh, as of now, though, I don't think we're going to get any updates in terms of at least there being any sort of tornado. I just at this point, we have not seen a whole lot of rotation, at least at the beginning we did. Recently, it's been very well, much weaker than before. And for those that are being confused, by the way, I know a lot of you guys are watching on Radar Scope and whatnot using your weather apps. There's some rotation down here. It looks like it at least by radar, but that's not really rotation. You kind of see it on the front end. It's more of a wind uh, thing more than anything. But obviously, if it can start to strengthen and organize a little bit more, potentially get some more inflow, we very well could maybe see a briefer week tornado down the road. But it's not really a short-term threat. Uh, a lot of the time when we see lines of storms like this, that does occasionally happen. So I know a lot of you guys think there's a lot of strong rotation down that way. It's not really that strong, though. It's... It's more the main area of rotation was primarily back up in here, which has now kind of gotten cut off. So we're looking at it right now. Thanks, DB. I appreciate it. It's my goal. That is my goal. Spires on 170. Yeah, flash flood warnings typically go for a few hours because the uh, rain doesn't really, the water doesn't really go anywhere. That, you know, it, it, it kind of sits. You know, it, it takes a while to actually kind of leave the area. Unlike a tornado warning, tornadoes only last typically on average like a couple of minutes most of the time. So obviously tornado warnings are more short. Obviously this one was like 30 minutes, I think, which yeah, 29 minutes. Severe thunderstorm warnings can vary. It depends on how slow the storm's going or how quickly it's going. And flash flood warnings last much longer because the flash flooding threat usually lasts a bit longer. Hey Gabe, how you doing? Welcome back. And Tony, I totally understand that. A lot of people say the same thing. I know people love to watch these sort of things when they're not included in the warnings. And uh, obviously that's kind of something that happens. I'll take a look at the latest velocity scan. It is currently 954 central time. Again, I'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation left here. We're going to go ahead and sidetrack a little bit off this tornado warning because I do think the velocities are weakening a little bit. We are currently going to go back to the tornado possible. I do understand there's a tornado warning still ongoing, but we are going to, for at least now, go back off a little bit and kind of sidetrack a little bit on these other warnings because we do have a lot of severe weather still ongoing. Uh, obviously, tornado warning still goes for five more minutes. Stay in shelter. Don't, you know, don't go anywhere. Obviously, stay in shelter if you're in these areas. But uh, ongoing as of right now, we do have ping pong ball size, tail damage units up to 70. Still ongoing for Birchwood and Exland. Now, it's going to be downgraded for right now to 60 miles per hour and quarter size tail for Barron, Lady Smith, 
Smith, Cumberland, as well as areas back off here to the west near Frederick. Back over here near Winter, there's also an ongoing severe thunderstorm producing 70 mile per hour damaging winds, quarter size tail, and as well as that potential for a isolated brief or weak tornado sometime down the road. There is some broad rotation, so we do have a tornado possible on that. Again, severe thunderstorm watch goes until 2 a.m. Let's hop back over here because we do have a recent report of a, a damaging threat. An 80 mile per hour damaging wind report came in over in Dual County, South Dakota. That's our latest report from a Mesonet station. I don't know how to pronounce it. some sort of colony, Poinsett County or colony, excuse me, that area at 929. There was an 80 mile per hour damaging wind gusts uh, over in that area in Dual County, South Dakota. So we've had extreme damaging winds in this area uh, recently. Again, Canby is currently getting hit by that. That is, again, associated with this outflow boundary right now. And again, Canby is currently getting hit by that east of Tyler now going towards Tracy, Marshall, and maybe even Granite Falls over the next several minutes. I do believe So Falls has been hit by this now. Yeah, So Falls is already by that. So I don't know if So Falls saw a whole lot but uh, overall again 79 mile per hour damaging wind gust report just came in over there so we've seen some very very high uh damaging winds over that direction obviously as i mentioned before tornado warning goes for another four minutes and we'll see what happens but again if you're just tuning in hit the subscribe button we are only 10 subscribers from 15,000. if you have not hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it i think we we're that much away all right let's go back to chat again if you have questions feel free to leave those in the chat as well We'll keep you updated with the latest. Uh, Asha, that is a wind gust. That is typically top wind gust speeds. Yeah, that's extreme wind. Yeah, we don't typically, I mean, we see it a little bit, but not that often. I mean, 80, 80 miles per hour is pretty insane. Might as well just say 80 when it's 79, right? I mean, it's that's pretty crazy to think. 80 mile per hour wind gusts. I honestly, I've never been any, I don't think I've ever been in a storm beyond 65. So... I've never been beyond that at this point. Someday, though. Someday. Uh, what does purple mean? Are you talking about Are you talking about the velocities? So like this? The purple is... I, I'm not entirely sure what it is. I can't remember, but it's some sort of congestion with the radar. That does occasionally happen with the radars, but um, it typically blocks out stuff. I think it's some sort of congestion with some something to do with the radar. I'm not 100% sure. I'll give you an answer on that when I actually learn it. Again, I am in college, so I'm kind of learning everything right now, but... But any of this pink that you're seeing on the reflectivity is hail. So, uh, Susan, there's actually been, this is our second tornado warning, but uh, we had another one back up here near uh, 4835 and 77, I believe. So that's basically what you missed. We've seen a lot of hail and damaging wind so far. Winds have peaked now at 80 miles per hour over in South Dakota. And uh, over here in Wisconsin, we've had winds peak around. I don't know if we've had actually wind estimate yet, but we've had a, at least ping pong ball size tail with a couple of storms. So that's what we've seen so far tonight. Thank you, Ron, as well as another Ron, and as well as Kay and uh, Juan for subscribing. I appreciate it. Welcome. Yes, yeah, so any winds above 60 can actually knock over power. And I mean, really anything below that can occasionally too. But yeah, their winds can get extremely high. Yeah, definitely some strong downburst winds. That's what we're looking at primarily tonight. But obviously, that tornado threat still will exist. Uh, tornado warning is going to expire here in about 30 seconds or so, or 45 seconds. And uh, the other severe thunderstorm warning also set to expire. I don't think we'll get a new tornado warning. I just don't see that much rotation left this storm at this given time. But obviously, it could very well re-strengthen down the road, especially on the west end of this. We have a better chance of maybe a little bit of rotation back over here, maybe near Frederick later on. But as of right now, main threat now, damaging winds and large hail. And just kind of give you a re reiteration of what we're seeing right now. Again, damaging winds up to 60 quarter size tail. Tornado is, again, still possible with this. This does include areas in Frederick, Almana, as well as Lady Smith, and as well as near Rice Lake, Barron, Cumberland. All those areas included. Again, damaging winds up to 60 and quarter size tail. Back over near Winter in southwest of Park Falls. Again, we're still looking at the potential for damaging winds as high as 70 miles per hour along with quarter size tail, and as well as the potential for maybe a little bit of broad rotation in there. We very well could see something out of that later on as well. And again, back over here, we actually have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning that is including a large area. It includes Marshall, Wyndham, Slayton, Westbrook, and Minnesota. Uh, latest on this is damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Now, we do have a new wind gust report coming in in Hendricks of 50 miles per hour. So 
Uh, again, that is going to be down to the southwest of Canby. And uh, also, we again, recently, of 929, only about half an hour ago, we did have a damaging wind gust report of 79 miles per hour come in uh, just down to the southwest of Clear Lake. So we've had that report, obviously, come in. We've seen some high damaging winds tonight, some large hail, and obviously, we've already seen a couple of tornado warnings. There might even be a couple more from where that came from. So you know, we'll keep you updated with the latest on all those situations. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. There's not a whole lot of tough names up that direction yet. I think the worst names are really in central Wisconsin. Yeah, 80 miles per hour is insane. Again, that was our latest wind report over here. 60, 61, just out of the south of that. May even be, may have even been a brief uh, microburst of some sorts, too. That's northwest of Toronto, southwest of Clear Lake. Again, back down here, we actually have another wind gust report uh, just over near Hendricks of 56 miles per hour. That's, again, in extreme western uh, Minnesota. So there was actually a 56 mile per hour wind gust report that came over in that direction as well. So uh, obviously we've seen some high winds tonight without a doubt. Uh, we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning. Tornado possible still on this. This is for 60 mile per hour winds as well as the potential for hail up to the size of ping pong balls. That is our latest update there. So new warning for those over in Shell Lake, Spooner, again, still a hail threat ongoing. Our, our uh, highest hail stones right now are currently south of 70 and west of Highway 63. So again, let's move down to the east, southeast. Sounds good, Dusk. I'll take a look soon. That's crazy, Viking. That's crazy. Yeah, if you haven't already, join our Discord server. Uh, the link's in chat from EvanBot, if you haven't already. And if you're just tuning in, hit the subscribe button. We are extremely close to uh, 15,000 subscribers. I don't know the exact count, but we are very close to it. Again, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I also like the live stream. 200 likes from 1,000. All right, uh, let's go over to, again, this is the ongoing severe thunderstorm warning. We currently have eight severe thunderstorm warnings. Four flash flood warnings and five special marine warnings. That's what we have going as of right now. Severe thunderstorm watch again goes until 2 a.m. Central Time. 75 mile per hour damaging winds are also a possibility up to hen egg sized tail. And again, a couple of tornadoes not out of the question. We may have already seen a couple, but we just don't know yet. Again, those usually get confirmed the morning, uh, next morning, but no reports so far of any winds at this given time, but or any tornadoes, excuse me, at this given time. Like our, uh, there's a little bit of rotation down this direction, by the way. That's southwest of Shell Lake. You think it's overall pretty minimal, but it's kind of on that leading edge. So overall, there might be a little bit of rotation there. Again, and overall, there's still an ongoing threat for maybe an isolated tornado or two tonight. So that's what we're looking at as of right now. Sounds good, Gene. I agree with that game. I agree. Hey, DB, no problem at all. No problem at all. Completely understand. You do not have to become a member to be on the channel. Don't worry. Again, being a member and whatnot is completely optional. If you can't afford it, don't, don't become a member. Helps the page out, obviously, but there's just no reason to put yourself into a financial stress by any means. Uh, Sawyer, there's a very low chance. It's, it's extremely low to zero, basically, for Green Bay. Um, the only tornado threat I see tomorrow, uh, let me take a look real quick. Unless something's updated or changed, let me take a look real quick for you. On my other monitor here. Let's go over to this. All right, there we go. So yeah, tomorrow it is going to be pretty low. It's primarily going to be in Michigan. There may be a low risk, like maybe even near you know, Chicago, maybe, or even just west or south of there. Might be a low risk over that direction, but it's going to be a fairly low risk. The main area, though, is probably going to be over there in Michigan. So that's my main concern at this point tonight. Thanks, War. Appreciate it. For subscribing. All right, uh, let me go over to the timing, by the way. I haven't put a track on this in a while. The storms are currently moving about 25 to about 30 miles per hour. Uh, they are pretty slow moving back up here where the flash flood warning is. The outflow boundary is really carrying it. Let me go over to the outflow boundary here. That is kind of where we're at this point. This is all outflow driven back down here. 
This is a look at the timing, though, over the next couple of hours at this point. So uh, timing and locations, again, on the left side of your screen for the potential for storms tonight. Rice Lake, 1006. Lady Smith, 1012. Uh, Phillips, currently 1016. Cameron, 1020. As well as Cornell, 1053. Medford, 1117. Stanley, 1124. Uh, Thorpe, 1126. As well as Abbotsford, right around 1143. Colby, 1147, and Edgar, right around uh, 1203. That, again, is your timing for tonight um, on this line of storms. Again, that's over the next couple of hours. A bit more of a short-term little timing for you. Uh, Sarah, if you want more information on that, make sure to check out my latest forecast. If you want more information on uh, tomorrow's outlook, again, you can click my little channel name and go over to that forecast. It has all the details for you. I know, hand it, 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 it stinks, but, you know, we'll, we'll get through it. I, I am actually still sick, by the way. Uh, I am streaming sick, but it's more of a uh, congestion right now. I had a fever yesterday or the day before that. What's today? Tuesday. Yeah, yesterday I had a fever. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's not been fun, but I'm glad I went live yesterday. I'm glad I'm live today again. Uh, obviously, I've been kind of sick, but we will get through it. We're currently looking at uh, Northwestern Wisconsin. Currently, uh, we have been in South Dakota. We've been in Michigan. Oh, there was somebody that said there was a warning in Florida. Is that still ongoing? There is actually still a warning in Florida. I'll take a look at that real quick. This is actually over uh, near Daytona Beach, near Palm Coast. It's near Flagler Beach. 60 mile per hour damaging winds currently ongoing down this direction. 54 miles per hour was reported up in Marineland in uh, Flagler County. So there was actually a 60 mile per hour damaging wind report over at least 60 mile per hour damaging wind gusts are possible here. A few special marine warnings. Those are a few of the ones that we have ongoing as of right now. If you kind of zoom out here, just some storms over that direction, some in Southwest Florida as well. So there's some storms ongoing obviously. And uh, that will obviously continue probably over the next few hours. That's kind of what how Florida works anyways during the summer. Uh, we do have a new wind gust report of 52 over in Lake Benton. So it looks like the wind gusts are kind of maybe going down a little bit over here in western Minnesota. Again, the overall severe weather threat is pretty low tonight in these areas. Here's a look at the outlook, by the way. Marginal threat actually does extend all the way through here, uh, Minnesota. But overall, damaging winds may be probably isolated here throughout portions of uh, Minnesota tonight. Here's a look at the radar, by the way. Click the wrong thing. Here's a look at the radar. Yeah, outflow boundary is currently carrying potentially winds as high as 60 to 70 miles per hour. Again, we did have an 80 mile per hour damaging wind gust back at 929, which is only about not just over half an hour ago. So uh, we've seen some pretty high winds with this, obviously near Marshall. Uh, we're still seeing that outflow boundary on go. We have a little bit of an area of storms here near Granite Falls that also could potentially produce the potential for maybe some isolated uh, flash flooding if that continues to develop. But uh, overall, our main flash flood warning right now is currently up here in Wisconsin, producing that potential for not just ping pong ball size tail and 60 mile per hour winds, but obviously some maybe some street flooding as well in these areas near Birchwood Reserve as well as uh, Spooner. And uh, it sounds like we've officially hit 15,000 uh, subscribers, which is just crazy to think. Um, I'm not going to give a whole speech on this, but uh, I do appreciate every subscriber. 15,000, another crazy milestone. Again, this is unintentional growth all the way around, but I do appreciate everybody subscribing. I mean, obviously, if you're just tuning in and just watching, I appreciate it a lot. Helps me. Obviously, this is more of just a something for fun anyways. And I obviously, I love to do what I do. Love to keep people safe and whatnot. Want to save lives. So. Uh, I do appreciate everybody, again, claps in the chat for hitting 15,000 subscribers. Everybody in the chat also deserves a uh, pat on the back as well for uh, subscribing. I do appreciate it. Again, 15,000 subscribers. Crazy milestone, uh, to say the least. And actually, that number is back up here somewhere. I don't remember what quarter it's in, but appreciate it. That's, that's just insane. Crazy to think how far we've come. Crazy, crazy. All right. Uh, let me go back to some of the weather. Uh, what's going on in Iowa? I don't think Iowa's going to see much tonight. I think it's primarily going to be dry. Unless you're in northwestern Iowa, you may get a little bit of you know, gusty winds from that outflow boundary. But beyond that, not much there. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the congratulations. I know it's, it's crazy to think. Crazy to think. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. It feels like yesterday. 
Uh, Benjamin, if you see anything tonight, damaging winds up to 60 be my main concern for you. And obviously, frequent lightning, too. These storms are producing, I believe, currently around 50 lightning strikes per minute. Let me double check that number for you. Yeah, we are definitely seeing a lot of lightning with these storms. Man, 15,000 subscribers, though. That's just such a big milestone, really. It means it's crazy. Insane milestone. Uh, 100 strikes per minute, actually, right now. 100 strikes per minute. 100 lightning strikes currently ongoing every minute with this line of storms here. So there's a lot of lightning. This is a highly electrified area of storms right now, all the way from, again, uh, 35 back near Siren, all the way back out near Winter. It's a uh, definitely a highly electrified area of storms tonight. And obviously, our ongoing hail right now is near Shell Lake and uh, southwest of Spooner. Again, ping pong ball size tail possible here. So there's obviously a lot of hail ongoing, too. Uh, no, DB, I do not. I'm not on Twitch. I like YouTube more. 16,000 on August 4th. That's just not happening. Here's thunderstorm morning in Florida. I'll take a look here in a second. Yeah, 100 strikes per minute. That's about 1,500 per 10 minutes. Excuse me, 1,500 per 15 minutes. Can't do math, but yeah, 1,500 every 15 minutes or so. I don't see a new severe thunderstorm morning, at least on my end. It might be on this. It might just literally got an issued. Yeah, I must have. Yeah, we're up to nine severe thunderstorm warnings, so I guess there's a new one down in Florida. 16K tonight. Now, this is not happening. Uh, yeah, the lightning strikes, though, are spread apart, I believe, at least 50 miles here. I mean, we're seeing lightning back up through this entire area here. Let me get a better color for this. Let's just zoom out a little bit. This entire area, that is where we're seeing most of the lightning. Let's go and put a little uh, path on this. We'll give you an idea of how many miles are across here. So the lightning has stretched about 120 miles or so. That's kind of what we're looking at as of right now. So uh, across 120 miles, we are currently looking at about 100 strikes per minute. That's about every mile, there's about a strike every minute. That's kind of how it looks. So lightning, there's a, there's a lot of it, but obviously it's kind of stretched apart a good amount of area. Uh, we do have a new damage report coming in. Heads up, a new damage report over in Stone Lake. Uh, this is a brand new report. It looks to be, again, Stone Lake. That's in Washburn County, Wisconsin. 20-inch diameter white pine limb is down. Several other tree limbs are also down in the area. Power outages as well. So we are seeing some power outages in this area. Uh, again, near Spooner. This is currently in Washburn County, which, again, is a bit more populated here in Wisconsin. So that is a new report that we have coming in in terms of damage. And we've probably had a good amount tonight across this area. That is our first one, though, so far. All right, by the way, we do have new severe thunderstorm warnings coming in. Uh, we are currently at 10 severe thunderstorm warnings. I'm going to keep it at 9. I think we're going to lose a couple anyways here in a second. Uh, a brand new severe thunderstorm warning. Tornado is still possible on this one. Uh, this is a brand new severe thunderstorm warning, though, for Phillips. Damaging winds up to 60 are possible there. We also have another severe thunderstorm warning, a small one here for Hawkins. That includes the potential for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail. So a couple of little differences there, but that is another brand new severe thunderstorm warning that we have ongoing there. And stay away from windows. Damaging winds up to 60. Can knock over trees. I also have a lot of power outages ongoing as of right now. So that's also another concern with these storms right now. <laughs> that's funny, I see. Uh, Squibber, no, not tonight. Severe weather for Iowa tomorrow, unless you're in extreme, like, southeastern Iowa, most likely not. Yes, Antonio, yes. That area is currently seeing the potential for 60-mile-per-hour uh, damage winds over there in Hawkins. Hey, Jaffer, it's a, cra it's a crazy job being a storm chaser. I think the people that do it, they're just, they, they are crazy. I mean, I want to go storm chasing someday, but they, those, uh, a lot of people that do it are just, you know, they're very brave, to say the least. A lot of brave people that do that. We have more damage reports, by the way, coming in over in uh, Gwynn. But we're from the storms that are now going over Lake Michigan or whatever lake this is, somewhere over in uh, Michigan. That's northwest Michigan. Uh, but we do have new reports coming in. Power lines down between Chipmunk Field and the Basin Drive at 906. Also, it looks like reports of power lines down on Shag Lake Drive. 
and also a tree down and damage to a mast of the roof we saw that one earlier but that's also uh looks like some roof damage from a tree and uh, power line down so uh some new reports coming in we also have rainfall total amount over a national mine of about three inches almost three inches of rain over in that direction so we see some very high winds obviously producing some damage not just to michigan but also now now into wisconsin so we are seeing some new reports over those directions by the way thank you carrie kylie jennifer karen and rachel for subscribing appreciate it thanks kenley appreciate it Try to pronounce, yeah, I'm not trying to pronounce that, Devin, thanks. <laughs> I'm not trying to pronounce that. There are some crazy pronunci pronunciations in uh, Wisconsin. I know Connie might be still here. That was the person that uh, originally did all the crazy pronunciations. That one severe weather event that we had. Man, I love this community, honestly. I'm, I'm so glad I've done this, just to say the least. I mean, I've only been doing national weather for about three months now. I used to, I used to only do North Texas, but I'm so glad we built this community. It's crazy. I, I've kind of mentioned it before, but... So I'm glad, especially off stream too. If you're not already, join our Discord server. It's linked in the description. But I, I love this community. It's it's awesome that I've kind of been able to build this too. All of you guys tuning in means a lot. And obviously, I am sick. But uh, by the way, we are at seven severe thunderstorm warnings, and I think we have one in Florida. Somebody said there was one in Florida. I don't know if that was a new one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. We have four special marine warnings though in Florida. Uh, we currently again have four severe, th yeah, four severe thunderstorm warnings currently in uh, Wisconsin, and we have three ongoing in Minnesota. Those are our warnings as right now, primarily up here in the north. All right, one second. Man, being congested sucks. That's all I gotta say. It's it's not fun. All right, uh, back to the live radar. Let's go over to the hail radar. Actually, I haven't looked at the hail radar here in a while. I don't typically look at a whole lot, especially in wind events, but uh, we've actually seen some hail with these storms. And the uh, latest radar scans back up near Shell Lake. This is the area where we have ping pong ball sized hail threats ongoing. Uh, we're getting some radar estimates right around hen egg sized hail. So just west of Shell Lake, near Shell Lake, it's closer to nickel size. So a couple of little things going on there our peak actually was back up here north of 70 there was actually a radar estimate near two inches now i think that might be a little bit of an overestimate but uh that was north of 70 west of spooner again spooner's a bit more populated here and overall the rain's been fairly stationary so far in this area and again that will cause the potential for flash flooding uh especially up here in portions of wisconsin so far it seems to be pretty stationary here in the county in washburn county uh new learn in minnesota we'll take a look at that here in a second Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. Glad you found me. Oh, no, you're good, Gabe. You're good. Yeah, there was one in Florida. Uh, it expired, though. I think that was up near Palm Coast, if I'm not mistaken. Have I ever been hit by a tornado? No. Luckily, I have not. Um, I've never actually seen a tornado either, so... It's going to be something I want to do one day. I'm going to go storm chasing someday. I kind of said it already. Uh, since I've been built such a following, I'll probably do a live stream on storm chasing someday. I'm not sure when. And uh, really, any ad revenue that comes from the live stream, I'll just put right into gas right at that point. So, yeah, I'll do that someday. We'll see when it happens. I primarily do this, but maybe someday I'll go storm chasing. I'm not sure when, though. It's going to kind of be situational. I'm glad with that, Shelly. I appreciate it. Thanks, AJ. I appreciate it. Uh, Karen, yeah, I can take a look here in a second. Let me actually do a time lapse on these storms real quick. This is a look at the last few hours, by the way, for those that might be just tuning in for Wisconsin storms. This is kind of just the evolution of it um, over the last few hours here. Again, we had tornado warnings back up, uh, a couple of them actually. So back up here in actually far eastern Minnesota, extreme northwestern Wisconsin, basically. That's kind of in the evolution. These storms have kind of just all developed. They're moving fairly slowly right now. We have a lot of rain ongoing, some flash flooding here. Luckily, it seems like this is not your flash flooding that we've seen 10 plus inches in, but we might see three to four. But overall, a lot more storm activity all shifting down to the south. It's kind of cool to see this in time lapse, though. And obviously, the light of storms back out here has been crazy. Somebody said Oregon real quick. Are you talking about the ones over in southwest Oregon? Oh, my software crashed. All right, we'll take a look at it. Try this again. 
Yeah, if you're just tuning in for the first time, hit the like button down below. Make sure to subscribe. I would appreciate it. One second. Launching the program. And I just did the wrong thing. All right, there we go. Apologies about that. Let's go back over to... Somebody said about Oregon and the time lapse. I'll do that real quick. There's actually some severe thunderstorm warnings over here in Oregon re recently. There's only one over here near Medford. Look at the time, time lapse here. Seems like we had some storms back up this direction too. I had some storms back down here though. Not a whole lot. This one, really only a couple of storms here. Hopefully these are able to bring some rainfall to those that really need it though. Because I know there's some wildfires there in um, California. I'm, I'm really hoping that there's some beneficial rainfall out of that for those that really need it. Uh, obviously there's some severe weather with them lightning obviously not going to help at all but yeah there's been obviously a lot of crazy weather recently the summer really more than anything all right here's a look back at the live radar for those that are in this area again we're still looking at ping pong ball sized health right over here near spooner okay check out north florida anything in north florida right now is just strong storms nothing severe as of right now I did look at that recently, so nothing too crazy out that direction. Primarily just strong storms. Can't rule out maybe some isolated uh, damaging winds if the storm's able to strengthen. But I think that severe threat is going down right now. I know exploitation. I can't, I can't believe we hit 15,000. It's crazy. There was a phone cloud uh, just spotted west of Spooner. Was that recent? It wasn't. I don't think it was recent, but there might have been one earlier. I didn't see any reports yet of a phone cloud, but there may have been one. There was a lot of rotation, and obviously there were tornado warnings, so... Uh, Connie, we'll see. I mean, might see uh, if any storms make it that far south, there might be some isolated damaging winds. But uh, other than that, I mean, the main threat anywhere in Wisconsin tonight is damaging winds. Here's a look at the outlook, by the way, uh, for tonight. You can see the uh, marginal threat kind of cuts off down here near Toma as well as Oshkosh, but we'll see if it makes it that far down to the southeast. But if you do, again, main threats mean damaging winds. Can't rule out an isolated tornado. Again, here's your tornado threat for tonight. We do have a lot of shear up there. It's just the setup is not really ideal for this. Tornado threat is really primarily anywhere just east of Minneapolis. Anywhere at this line of storms, all the way back out near Rhinelander, Medford, Bloomer, Baldwin, Amory, all included again for the low end chance of an isolated tornado type. It's very low. It's not, it's not something you should be panicking about. Just make sure you're prepared for it just in case there is any tornado warnings tonight. Yeah, Donald, you should be fine. As long as you have a way to receive alerts, you will be good for tonight. Yeah, it's been a crazy night, though. Obviously, to start out with, we had a couple of tornado warnings. We still got a lot of severe weather ongoing, so it's been a crazy one, to say the least, so far. I uh, know, Paul, nothing tonight for Des Moines. Nah, nothing tonight. You'll be fine. That's good, uh, Grilled. I don't say your name, Hild. Hild. I don't know. I have no clue. Some crazy names out there. Uh, we do have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning that has just been issued for those in Rib Lake. I wonder if they have any ribs there. Uh, but there's a new severe thunderstorm warning. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour is going to be possible with this storm. Again, a brand new severe thunderstorm warning. So, again, that is going to include Rib Lake and Medford, by the way. So, a couple of areas there. Medford, a little bit more populated near 13 and 64 again that is our brand new warning we do have a flash flood report coming in three inches of rain has fallen in just one hour in spooner and rain is still falling as of 10 8 p.m central time so obviously we've seen a lot of rain here already rain has at least reached three inches it may even exceed possibly as much as three and a half inches before it's all done with looks like it's starting to wind down a little bit but we've had a new report again of potentially as much as uh three and a half in or three inches of rain possibly even more than that here pretty soon Uh, Bill, nothing for Green Bay right now. And if you see anything, it'll probably be, you know, might, might see an isolated storm. But overall, it's primarily going to be off to uh, your west and north today. If you see anything, though, isolated damaging winds. Main threat is going to be tomorrow. Nothing for Iowa. Nope, nothing for Iowa tonight. You're good in Iowa. Main threat is going to again be tomorrow. Again, check out my latest forecast. Click my name and you can find it in the latest forecast. 
for all those details. Let's go back over to the storm. Yeah, over here near Spooner. This is the area where we have to watch for maybe an isolated brief tornado tonight. It's going to really be embedded with this area that's kind of developing more to the west now. But uh, any rotation that develops most likely going to be on this side of the storm. So I'll have to watch this area closely. Again, this is the area where we've seen two tornado warnings already tonight. We may even see another one down the road. So it'll be an area to watch pretty closely tonight. Hey, Yoshi, I'm doing a little bit better. I don't have a fever anymore, but I'm still pretty congested. Hoping to get better soon, though. Maybe by, I think I'll probably be better by Thursday or Friday. All right, uh, let's go back over to the radar. We do have currently eight severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing. I need to drop the number back. Are we actually all right? So uh, most of the severe thunderstorm warnings are again currently in Wisconsin. Severe thunderstorm watch goes again until 2 a.m. tonight. We have a whole complex of storms that is currently right now west of Minneapolis. This may march actually all over that direction. These are actually considerable threats as of right now. We are talking the potential for damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour right now. Uh, moving off to the east, we have a new wind report in Marshall coming in in Lyon County, Minnesota of a 74 mile per hour damaging wind gust. So uh, that is a most recent report. We've been at as high as 80 miles per hour. So most recent, recent uh, wind gust report south of uh, Cottonwood, again in Marshall, was at this point a 74 mile per hour wind gust. We also have a new one that has just come in in Minneota that is also 65 mile per hour wind gust. So we have two new wind gust reports coming in. Again, this is all associated with the potential for damaging winds upwards of 70 miles per hour. Again, they'll be tracking potentially towards areas like Minneapolis, Sleepy Eye as well. I'm assuming those people might be a little bit sleepy as well as Olivia, Hutchinson, those areas again, all on the track of this area of storms. Again, it's more, mostly just the outflow boundary that's producing those high damaging winds. So latest report, again, 74 miles per hour. That is all associated with the potential for damaging winds as high as 75 to maybe as high as 80 miles per hour in an isolated storm. So some very high winds back out that direction as of right now. Moving into Minnesota, we'll have to watch that again fairly closely. I know, Christian, it's crazy. I appreciate it. <laughs> you're correct. Yeah, you're correct, uh, k -Day. Yeah. You are correct. Indiana will not see storms until tomorrow. You're going to be fine for tonight. Obviously, you will probably see storms tomorrow, though. I think the chances really all across those areas like Indiana and whatnot are pretty close to 100% tomorrow in terms of at least seeing some rain. Hey, maybe Katie. I, you never know. Maybe. Maybe someday. Uh, I saw somebody post on Discord. Is that gonna? Is the outflow boundary going to hit uh, Des Moines, Iowa tonight? Uh, if it does, it might just produce gusty winds. It's not going to be severe, though. It's definitely not going to be anything close to severe. Uh, we'll see dusk. I'm not sure yet. We will see. Shelly, I don't even know why you're even saying that. Weather, what? I mean, why is that even a thing? <laughs> yeah, I completely agree with that, Somni. I completely agree with that. I've always been into weather, really, ever since I was little, so. Love doing what I had to do. Uh, let me take a look at the velocities. The, the uh, edge of the storm still has a little bit of inflow. Overall, not a whole lot of rotation here. It's mo mostly damaging winds right now at this storm. Again, there's a tornado possible label on these cells. I'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation though right now. I am actually going to revert this back to uh, severe thunderstorm warning for now. We'll go over to the screen. Just to make it for now. I mean, we don't have any crazy rotation with any, with any of these storms, even though there's tornado possibles on them. Again, this is honest forecasting. I'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation in these. So nothing too crazy i think at this given time but we'll watch it closely again if there's some rotation starting to spur up again we'll go back to the tornado possible if not if there's a tornado warning again we'll go over to that as well but i'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation with those storms right now all right let me go over here power went out power is, power is probably gonna go out in a lot of these areas actually let me take a look at the power outage reports 
because the uh, amount of power outages are probably going to be pretty high with these storms tonight. A lot of damaging winds going to knock over power lines. We've already had reports of that as well in Minnesota. And along with that, in um, actually Lyon County, Minnesota already has a portion of that county out. Let's go over to um, Wisconsin, though. Yeah, severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, just uh, expired. We will probably get a new warning here pretty shortly, I would assume. Uh, we do currently have in Sawyer County, there is at least 30% without power in Sawyer County. So that is, uh, let's take a look where that is. That is kind of, I'm trying to kind of mash this up here. It's kind of over here near Hayward, I think. So yeah, that's, that's I believe here near Hayward. Yeah, this county. So uh, this county here, let me get a little bit of an out little line here this county that is again sawyer county currently about 30 percent without power there washburn county also has a little bit of people without power that is near uh currently spooner so those areas also have a little bit of power outages so there are power outages obviously with these storms and that will likely continue as i mentioned before we're probably going to see a lot of power outages unfortunately tonight uh with these storms thank you k jack by the way for becoming a storm chaser member i really do appreciate that thank you very much you're a hundred and second member appreciate that Thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate it a lot. We actually, by the way, we did actually hit 100 members tonight. So I do appreciate everybody becoming a member as well on our YouTube channel. Helps our page out a lot. Uh, Michigan, yes, but these are, you're going to have a different line of storms tomorrow. Again, check my latest forecast for all the details for Michigan tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow's threat. I saw a couple of people say there was a fall cloud near Spooner, but I, I just can't confirm it. I haven't had any reports of that yet, at least on my end. There may have been a couple. I, I haven't looked at Twitter. Uh, Evan, have you seen anything on Twitter in regards to a funnel cloud from earlier in Spooner? Uh, maybe, Katie. I'm not sure. I never, I've never even really, I mean, I haven't really met any storm chasers to begin with. Appreciate it, okay, Jack. Make sure to link your uh, YouTube, by the way, to Discord to get your role. Appreciate it, as always. Let's get some claps in the chat, by the way. Again, we hit 15,000 subscribers tonight. We also hit 100 members. Crazy milestones tonight. Claps in the chat for the five new members tonight as well. It may have been a fall. I mean, we've had a couple of reports of people saying follow cloud. I'll look at Twitter real quick. Um... I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen any confirmation yet of any funnel clouds, but I definitely can't rule it out that we've had something. And uh, again, this is over in Spooner, Wisconsin. We had a couple of reports of that. There's no new severe thunderstorm warning, by the way. It's actually a special weather statement. Now, we've had rain reports. Obviously, we do have an ongoing flash flood warning. Yeah, as of right now, no report officially of any funnel cloud from earlier what i'm saying typically you'd see something if there was a funnel cloud hey mikhail how you doing now this is currently up in uh, wisconsin right now but we are covering the south or really now minnesota storm so both minnesota and wisconsin are our main areas tonight uh we do have a new damage report or actually a flash flooding report it looks like coming in both Looks to be a damage report. Kind of got misreported here. But uh, large oak trees are down over in, again, Sawyer County. This is the county that has over 30% without power. That is in Stone Lake. So uh, that is the most recent report that we have coming in there. Large oak trees were uprooted. Back over in western Sawyer County, Wisconsin. That's our latest report over that direction. Look at the velocities again. I'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation on this cell, even though there is a tornado possible label. I'm primarily seeing more of just maybe a little bit of ping pong ball size tail damaging winds around 60 maybe as well. All right, so let's go over here. Yeah, if you have any photos or videos, feel free to send those in on our Discord server. Again, link is in the description below. And also join our community off the stream. All right, uh, we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning that's been issued. Uh, this is actually over in uh, now like northern portions of Wisconsin. This is a considerable threat now of damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour and as well as the potential for some nickel-sized tail. That does include Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Lander, Morell, Tomahawk, as well as Newbold, Harrison, Woodboro, Council, Council Grounds State Park, as well as 
Tripoli and Dutch Corners. Those areas all included for the potential for damaging winds now up to 70 miles per hour. Again, that is our latest warning now on this area. Uh, that's actually now a considerable threat here in Wisconsin. A brand new warning here. Uh, Devin, I've actually done it before. I might do one upcoming year. I did one. One. It was actually, yeah, I did a North Texas one. Yeah, I haven't seen anything either. I mean, yeah, I can't confirm any follow-up cloud reports. Again, there might have been a scud cloud too. You never know. They need some sort of report. We do have a new severe thunderstorm watch that has actually been issued, by the way. Uh, this just came in for uh, Minneapolis. This does include eastern Minnesota as well as central Minnesota, Wilmer as well as Litchfield, Hutchinson, Olivia, New Ulm, Buffalo, New Prague, as well as, uh, again, Minneapolis. Main areas included. Again, severe thunderstorm watch has been issued until 2 a.m. Central Time. That's another two and a half hours or three and a half hours, excuse me. Um, yeah, three and a half hours. So the main threats, damaging winds up to 75 miles per hour, isolated quarter size tail, tornado threat should stay very low to zero with this line of storms. And it's going to primarily be damaging winds. Obviously, Granite Falls, Redwood Falls, Basso, Olivia, Morgan, all included currently in a severe thunderstorm warning for damaging winds again around 70 miles per hour. And they'll be moving off toward Minneapolis here pretty soon. Most recent reports, as I mentioned before, were around 75 miles per hour. So we very well could see some damaging wind gusts that high as those storms again move off to the east. All outflow driven again. Outflow battery is producing those high damaging winds. Uh, yes, Mikhail. Yeah, I've been covering those uh, warnings in um, South Dakota. I don't think we have any others going in South Dakota right now. They're primarily now Minnesota. Yeah, there was a uh, tornado warning up in Canada. We've had a few of those today. None of them really impressed me, though. I didn't see a whole lot of crazy rotation with really any of them. Oh, yeah, there was actually a funnel cloud up in uh, Canada earlier. Um, let's see. I, don't, I won't retweet it to our Twitter, but there was actually a funnel cloud over in uh, Canada earlier, which is quite interesting. Thank you, by the way, Owen, as well as uh, Nun, Tori, P, F, as well as Jazz for all subscribing. I appreciate it, guys. Welcome. All right, let's take a look. We currently have seven severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing. No tornado warnings. We have two flash flood warnings, three special marine warnings. That's where we're at in terms of a warning count as of right now. Uh, we may get a new severe thunderstorm warning here pretty shortly. We'll see. There's definitely probably at least quarter size tails still left with this storm. That might be a little bit larger than that as well. And they'll be moving down to the southeast. <laughs> I seen a tornado yesterday in West Canada. I did not see that actually. No, I didn't see grapefruit size tail either. I haven't seen that. I don't typically look a whole lot of Canada weather, but I actually did not see that. I typically get tagged in those sort of things, but I've not seen that yet. Interesting. Winds by Granite Falls, Minnesota. Yeah, they, they are pretty strong. They're at least 60, if not possibly 75. I mean, the uh, winds, let me go over to the radar, actually. We'll take a look. The, uh, the outflow battery is, again, producing the damaging winds. Here's a look at the velocities on this. The winds are definitely high here. It's kind of hard to pick out an estimated or a really accurate estimate. I mean, the winds are showing 100. That's not, that's not accurate, just for reference. That, that's just a glitch in the... Uh, overall radar here i don't know if there's closer radar is there anything closer yeah, it might be the closest radar site that we actually have here in minnesota there's one down here near so falls we'll try to take a look at this one try to see if we get an accurate reading on this area of storms here i mean i'm seeing around 60 it's kind of hard to get a good estimate on this it is for the most part from the outflow boundary which is kind of out here it just doesn't show very well in this the velocities here but uh the winds can safely be estimated right around 70 i would say we are seeing estimates as high as like 85, but I just don't think that's accurate. We're probably at least looking around 65 to 70, though, uh, possibly near Delhi as well as maybe near Redwood Falls. But uh, overall, the main threat, again, damaging winds with this line, all outflow driven, probably all again, possibly as high as 70 to 75 miles per hour. Can't well, maybe it was even as high as 80 as well, along with that. Uh, 
Uh, let's go back over here. Lincoln, Nebraska. Nothing in terms of severe weather is going over there in Lincoln tonight. Uh, we have another damage report over in this direction near Gwyn. Um, or actually, we have two new ones. Which ones have we not gone over? There were some damage reports over here from severe weather not too long ago. Multiple uh, power outages and uh, looks like townships. I'm not sure what that means. But basically, multiple power outages here over in Gwyn. That was a more recent report. That was the one that we've already seen. Large trees and uh, downed wires suspended on other wires, by the way, over in Princeton area, west of Gwynn. So a couple of new damage reports coming in there. We've already had now, that's now five damage reports in Gwynn now. So a lot of damage, obviously, over there from the severe weather that was there earlier. Those were only worn for 60 mile per hour damaging winds. So we've seen some significant severe weather over that direction uh, so far today, unfortunately. By the way, just a friendly reminder, if you're just tuning in and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do. It's the red button down below. would appreciate it. And also make sure it's the like button down below. Helps our page out a lot. would appreciate it. We're actually 67 likes away from 1,000. By the way, uh, just an ongoing severe thunderstorm warning. Again, this got issued a few minutes ago. This is producing the potential for winds. Again, as high as 70 miles per hour in our latest warning. Again, this does include areas like Rhinelander, Tomahawk, Merle, or Morel. Those areas all include New Bold Harrison. Town names are on the left side of your screen. Again, damaging winds up to 70, and as well as some nickel sized tail. I, mean, I don't think there's any ongoing right now. There was some flooding, but uh, that was mostly last night, I'm pretty sure, and overnight this morning. Oh, uh, well, yeah, for the most part, this is fairly typical. Thank you, Kevin, as well as Deanna for subscribing. Appreciate it. Merrill, thank you. Thomas, it will probably not be until tomorrow morning, so I wouldn't be trying to stay up for it. It will probably be uh, more of a morning to afternoon threat down in southern Michigan tomorrow. And again, just another reminder, we do have a new severe thunderstorm watch in eastern and central Minnesota. Again, Minneapolis is included. So uh, damaging winds up to 70 possible. That is all outflow driven in terms of storms over that direction. And uh, severe thunderstorm warnings expiring in three minutes back over here in Rice Lake. Likely not to be extended here, but we will see. It might. It might. The hailstones probably are still around quarter, I'd say, but um, no new update yet on the warnings. We don't have a new one for this area of storms either. The main severe weather seems to be back over here now near Medford, Merle, Mer 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 as well as uh, Ryan, Ryan Lander, excuse me. Again, um, Wisconsin names just aren't in my overall uh, genetics at this point, but maybe one day. I'm not very good with pronouncing names in this state. We've had those experiences, by the way, in the past. Special marine warning. Yeah, there are special marine warnings down there in Florida, um, but nothing severe in terms of severe weather. There's a couple, though, down that direction right now. We actually, let me take a look at the warning count again. Let's take a look. Severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, still ongoing for Rib Lake and Medford. That is, again, damaging up to 60 or possible. Um, let's take a look. So seven severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing. We have three special marine warnings and two flash flood warnings. And again, one of those flash flood warnings actually over here from recently. That is in Spooner. Shell Lake is also included in that. So there's been some a little bit of flash flooding over there. That is nothing in comparison to what we've seen recently, but there is obviously some rainfall totals between two to maybe three inches of rain over in those directions. All right, let me go over here. Thank you, uh, Trudy, Bill, and as well as Ben, by the way, for subscribing. Minnesota has 10,000 lakes. Wisconsin has 15,000. Really? Is that actually true? That's a lot of lakes. You know, Texas only has like one or two real lakes. I know, bro. I know. Connie's always here when we have uh, severe weather. Here's a look, by the way, over in uh, near Michigan, by the way. This is the other area of storms that'll come in possibly overnight tonight into northern Michigan. Little area of storms here. There's actually a special marine warning for this for point uh, detour, but other than that, I mean, this is the area that produced the damaging or damage actually back up here near Gwyn, south of Market. So there was actually a little bit of, you know, damage up that direction from those storms. So obviously something to keep in mind there. 
32 miles of rivers and streams. That's crazy. That's a crazy statistic. That's a lot. Texas has like one or two real lakes. That's it. Cattle Lake. There you go. Okay, it's just one. I thought it was two, but I guess it's one. Yeah. Texas has a bunch of artificial artificial lakes everywhere. They call a pond a lake in Minnesota. Okay, I got you. Sorry, I have no clue. I don't even know who you are, so I can tell you. Uh, by the way, we are, I think, down to five severe thunderstorm warnings. We may get a couple of new ones here in a second, though. See, again, the ones back over near uh, Rice Lake have not had anything new on them yet, but we'll see. There was a special weather statement, but... Yeah, there's two uh, special marine warnings in Florida. Yeah, there's one on the West Coast. I think one on the East Coast. Half of Cattle Lake is in Louisiana. Yeah, that would, that would make sense. It's it's Texas. That's funny. Yeah, Cattle Lake is just, uh, it's so weird. There's only one real lake in Texas. And that te Texas is such a big state. How is it possible that there's only one lake in that state? How large it is? Anybody else find that, like, just insane? It's crazy. It's crazy to think. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Uh, David, I typically go live for most slight risks. Uh, not all of them, but a good amount of them. I go live for anything really slight or above. I go live for a lot of stuff. It's mainly just because I want to make sure people are staying safe and I like doing what I do. So, um, but it, it just kind of depends. I've gone live for marginal risk days before. It's not very common that I do, but occasionally I've done it a couple of times. Uh, one of those actually being the Colorado tornado outbreak that we saw last week. That was a marginal threat. We saw like 10 or 11 tornadoes within the span of 60 minutes. It was crazy. So uh, I've gone live for that before. Obviously, I don't typically go live for marginal threats, but uh, if there's something that it needs to be covered, challenging winds, that sort of thing, I'll go live. I mean, um, I kind of just enjoy doing what I do. It's not really just to get you know famous or anything like that. I know some people, um, and kind of, I know a lot of people are talking about this. The uh, news, this uh, James Span little newsletter or whatever, kind of discuss like you know YouTube clickbait and stuff like that, but. I mean, my page has never been intended to be that way, and it isn't. It really isn't. It's every thumbnail that I use is completely realistic, and all those thumbnails that I have are actually all real images. They're not artificial. They're not made from Photoshop or anything like that. Um, I always try to keep my forecast as honest as possible, as real as possible, and that's always what I want to do because I do want to maybe one day even be on TV or potentially do this. You know, you never know what happened, but um, I love doing what I do. I love interacting with everybody too. It's it's been a great experience and. Obviously, more years to come with this until you know I actually graduate. But there are some people on YouTube. Obviously, specif specifically, there are a couple YouTubers. None of them that are that big. It's not, Ryan Hall was for, like actually mentioned on the newsletter. I don't think he clicks big to that extent. There are people that go way above, like showing hurricanes all across their thumbnail that aren't even on the map. Those things are just insane. I, I think a lot of people have seen those on YouTube too. There are some really clickbaity thumbnails that are not true at all. Um, that's kind of when it gets way beyond the line. But I think you need to make sure your thumbnails on weather in terms of YouTube need to, I mean, you don't have to fear people, but just, you know, it shouldn't be fear at all. I mean, there really shouldn't be fear of weather. It's just be, you know, make sure you're prepared more than anything. Uh, Chris, we'll see. Not sure yet. I might go live, we'll see. Yeah, if you want to read the uh, James uh, Spann newsletter, by the way, it's kind of on, you know, thumbnails on YouTube and just kind of how, you know, the whole YouTube aspect and stuff like that. Uh, you can, cl I think it's in my Discord server. I'm not, I don't have the actual link, but uh, you can go to our Discord general chat again, link in the description. All right. Yeah, I heard about that, Virginia. I saw that on a... I don't know if it was on the blog post, but I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, I've still not watched Ryan, but I, I've seen his thumbnails. They're not They're not that... They're not to the point where I've seen... I've seen a lot worse. I'm going to tell you that right now. But I honestly... I don't want to get involved in the drama. It's, it's just a bunch of crazy stuff. But it is true. There are some YouTubers out there that just go way too far in terms of clickbait on weather stuff. Thanks, Weather. I appreciate that. I gotcha, yeah. I've had that happen to me before. It, 
it stinks when you know the hard drive breaks and stuff like that that is never fun uh we do have a new damaging wind gust report by the way coming in over near highway 212 of 63 miles per hour that is at the granite falls airport so uh we are seeing obviously still winds as high as 70 miles per hour currently going through uh minnesota still so uh gaming i've never watched them i don't know who direct weather is honestly i only know of a couple of weather youtubers and there aren't many that have actually watched physically i've only watched reed timmer and brandon Kopik. that's it i've not watched any but one beyond that those are the only and that's weather youtubers in general and as well as weather De or weather decoded yeah but that's it weather decoded i used to watch more last year he doesn't really upload anymore though thank you nunez as well as quick and steve for subscribing i appreciate it Hayward has power off. It seems like it. I think 30% of Sawyer County, Wisconsin is currently without power. So there's a lot of power outages over that direction right now. Yes. Uh, yeah. Discord is linked in the chat from Nightbot. Uh, warning, by the way, still going until 11 o'clock. We'll likely get an extension on this. Uh, we do have two severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing. I believe this one may have got canceled, but we'll probably get a new one here pretty shortly. Again, this will be going possibly towards Minneapolis. Those in Minneapolis, make sure you brought your loose line items inside and uh, make sure you bring your car into. Obviously, some tree trees might fall and as well as obviously loose line items may go flying and obviously some plant damage along with that. Uh, with that damaging wind threat as high as 70 miles per hour right now. Again, that'll be tracking off that direction over the next little bit. The uh, line of storms currently moving pretty quickly off that direction too. This has gone all the way from central and eastern portions of South Dakota all the way down to central Minnesota, all in within about a couple of hours. We've been live for the entire thing, too, so it's been pretty crazy. Wesley, I'm, I'm live a lot. I mean, I, I don't know what, what Ryan's schedule is or anything like that. I don't know what he does, but I, I just live because I, I go live because... I enjoy doing it. It's not because I want money. It's not because I want fame. I just love doing weather. It's always been kind of my passion. But honestly, the growth that I have right now is crazy. I don't know why I have so many subscribers. I don't know why I have so many viewers to begin with. But I, I honestly, I'm glad that people are staying safe and whatnot or relying on maybe something like this to be able to stay safe as well. Um, but obviously, my growth was never intentional. I mean, it just kind of happened out of nowhere. I think everybody can go with that too on, on YouTube that knows me at this point. It's been a viewer for a while. I mean, 15,000 subscribers. It, it feels like so many to me. It's crazy. Uh, check velocities on Minnesota storms. I'll take a look. The winds are pretty high on these, but I mean, we're not. The the, the winds on the radar are currently kind of being overestimated overall on this. I mean, if you look at the winds on this, they're estimated around 110. I mean, that's just not realistic. If we're closer to the outflow boundary, it's a little bit more realistic. It might be closer to 60 to maybe 65. I, again, we're kind of far away from the radar site. Has a lot of stuff kind of congesting in here. Maybe if I go to the 0.9 skin, we'll take a look here. That's nah, still not that realistic, but overall, the winds currently are peaking around 70. They're definitely not beyond that, though. I mean, we're seeing estimates over 70 miles per hour on radar, but they're just not that high. Thanks for the stable. I appreciate it. Yeah, I try to not clickbait. I know there's YouTubers that clickbait and stuff like that. That's my main goal is, again, not create fear. It's just to make sure you're prepared. No reason to clickbait. Obviously, that's YouTube's algorithm and whatnot, but uh, I try to limit how much I do that. Obviously, there's an arrow on everything. Every thumbnail for me is consistent. And I try to keep it as real as possible. I don't try to you know scare people away on you know thumbnails and stuff like that. Try to make them click on the video intentionally. That's not what I try to do. I just want to make sure it has the point on the thumbnail because obviously YouTube is kind of about art too. It's it, you kind of have to have a, a good thumbnail for people to even click on it to begin with. But you don't want it to exaggerate to the point where it's a lie or even just over exaggerated fear or whatever. Uh, by the way, we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning for those in Hutchinson, Glencoe, Stewart, Olivia, Fairfax, Gaylord, all included, Cosmos as well. Damaging winds up to 70 are still possible. This is, again, a brand new severe thunderstorm warning. This storm is going towards Minneapolis. So uh, those are Minneapolis. Just make sure you're aware of this storm. Again, damaging winds up to 70 are going to be possible. They could even go as high as 75, by the way. So. Thank you, Chris. Mark, as well as Chris, by the way, for subscribing. 
Yep, Moxie, I completely agree. It's it's not just on YouTube, by the way. It is on Facebook. I've seen it a lot more on Facebook than YouTube. It's it, it's not nearly as bad on YouTube. There are a few YouTubers that do really bad on clickbait, but uh, Ryan Hall is really not one. I've, I've seen a few of his thumbnails. They're, they're not to the point where they are overly bad. I mean, I've seen way worse. I mean, really, there's some like, I'm not going to say names, but there are a few that are not nearly. You know, there, there are people that put a bunch of hurricanes and stuff on things that are just not true at all. But again, if you want more, if you want to see more on that, there's an article by J or a newsletter by James Spann. Again, I think it, I think you might be able to look it up on Google. But um, yeah, there's a whole thing on that. All right, uh, let's take a look how many warnings we got. I think we still have five. All right, actually, we're up to six. Okay, so this is another warning. I believe our other one back here is going to be canceled. Actually, I'm going to drop it down to five for right now. Oops. I'm going to put our warning counter at five currently because the other one I believe is kind of outside of the severe thunderstorms anyways. We still do have three ongoing over here in uh, Wisconsin. Again, we'll watch those pretty closely. 70 mile per hour damaging winds possible at that direction. Again, this one is still producing damaging winds around 70. Again, that will be probably going towards Minneapolis in the near future. So something to watch. Storms will again be moving off to the east. And by, by the way, the uh, radar is currently estimating this is going around 70 miles per hour. I don't know if it's going that high. Let me take a look at the warning details here. It's moving east. At This storm is moving east at 70 miles per hour. That is insane. So let me put a track on this. So this storm with the outflow boundary is moving 70 miles per hour off to the east. I don't think I've ever had to draw a track that fast, but... This is going 70 miles per hour. So Minneapolis, you can expect this storm right around 12 o'clock tonight. That's not, that's about an hour from now. That is crazy. This, again, this storm going 70 miles per hour. Yeah, Virginia, I think they do. It's a, again, I'm not getting involved in that drama. I, I know there's been storms over, you know, 70, but these don't typically go that fast. I mean, we don't see storms going over 70 that often. It's not common. This storm is going 70 miles per hour, though, right now. And it's also producing 70 mile per hour damaging winds. How fitting. So 70 and 70. By the way, timing's on the left side of your screen, so your location might be on the left here. Again, if you're over in Minnesota, it will actually get to Wisconsin probably right around 1225, maybe 1230. That's crazy, though. 70 mile per hour or 70. It's going 70 miles per hour going as fast as a car right now if you're trying to outrun this storm on highway 212 i don't think you're going to be able to you'll probably be getting caught up in it it's, that's crazy how fast it's going I'm literally going as fast as a car hey chamber how you doing got some really cool photos by the way that have been sent in on our discord server uh we do have a new uh wind gust by the way coming in over in olivia that is again in central Minnesota. That is at the airport. So a 62 mile per hour wind gust has been uh, confirmed at the airport there in Renville County, or Re yeah, Renville County, Minnesota. So that's our latest report. Again, 70 mile per hour uh, winds possible here, but obviously 62 is our latest report. Again, this area of storms is moving 70 miles per hour. That is not just the wind speed. It is also how fast these storms are moving. It is a very fast moving system. Again, Minneapolis, forecast to be hit by this right around midnight so again make sure you bring those loose lawn items inside bring plants cover those over do what you got to do thank you jeff by the way for subscribing i appreciate it hey no problem scorpion i appreciate you tuning in as always hope you're doing well I'm guessing we haven't, I haven't actually seen anything on Twitter tonight. Honestly, I haven't, I usually see a few things on Twitter from these storms. I have not seen a single thing, uh, despite the two tornado warnings we've seen so far tonight. In addition to that, we've obviously seen several severe thunderstorm warnings with a lot of damage so far. Crazy. A whole lot of photos so far. We'll see. Never know. Uh, Scorpion, not so far. We've had two tornado warnings though.
by the way if you're just tuning in we're gonna pro we might go live tomorrow i'm not 100 sure but uh we'll keep you covered with the michigan storms anywhere across the ohio valley and as well as the midwest there will be a possibility for severe weather tomorrow so again if you're just tuning in we'll keep you covered hit the subscribe button down below again it's free to do we'll keep you up there at the latest hit the bell icon as well to be notified for the latest live streams and also make sure it's the like button i think we're only one like away from a thousand make sure it's the like button i would appreciate it appreciate all the support tonight as always Hey, Kevin, welcome back. Now, the path of this storm is east. It's basically going east-northeast, Minneapolis again on the track. It is moving east at 70 miles per hour. It is going fairly fast, as I mentioned before. This is a quick-moving system. Yeah, we'll see, Steve. Again, if I, if I go live, it'll probably be during the late afternoon, mid to late afternoon, most likely. We'll see. Uh, Michaela, any tornado threat tomorrow is going to be low in Michigan. It's it's low at this point. <laughs> Wait, really? Last year, there was a storm that was moving east at 100 miles per hour. That's crazy. The tornado warning was only ongoing for 15 minutes, too. That's that's insane in Kentucky. I mean, I've seen storms go as much as 80. I didn't know. I've never seen that actually a thunderstorm go 100 miles per hour, though. That's insane. This one, again, for those that are just tuning in, is going 70 miles per hour towards Minneapolis. So it is a very quick moving system. Have a great night, Ro. Appreciate you stopping by. See you again soon. Yeah, again, those in Minneapolis, make sure to bring your loose light items inside. Again, if you know anybody in eastern Minnesota, anywhere in this area, uh, just make sure they're taking those proper precautions tonight before they go to bed. I know some of these people might be in bed sleeping. Again, 70 mile per hour damaging winds is not a joke. Make sure those people, again, are bringing their loose light items inside, covering over plants, umbrellas. Make sure they're taking those down. Just make sure you're taking those proper precautions tonight if you're in Minnesota. There's definitely some dangerous storms off over this direction. Hey, see you later, DFW. Appreciate you stopping by for your night. Crazy to think a storm went 100 miles per hour, though. Uh, by the way, a new damaging wind gust or dam wind gust report, I should say, uh, in North Redwood. This is a 68 mile per hour wind gust over at the Redwood Falls Airport. So uh, we do have a new wind gust report coming in here. 68 miles per hour from the ASOS. That is, again, the airport there in Redwood. Had, again, wind gusts have been as high as 80 so far tonight. Recent report, though, is 68 there in Redwood. So that's why we have an ongoing severe thunderstorm warning for winds as high as 70, which, again, it could exceed even up to 75, possibly. Your umbrella broke earlier? That's unfortunate. I hate when that happens. I actually, I had a very cheap umbrella. Um, I can't remember when. Actually, it was back last year. I had a really cheap umbrella. I went outside. And I was just holding it up because it was raining and it was windy. My umbrella snapped in half, like within about three seconds. It was the most disappointing experience I've ever had. And I had an umbrella and it just snapped. <laughs> like, it was probably the cheapest umbrella I've ever had. I didn't realize how bad it was. Yeah, Dorian, I completely agree with you. The Weather Channel names winter storms. I don't know why, but they do. I wish I had a video of that. That would have been really funny, though. Just uh, <laughs> walking outside with the umbrella, a $2 umbrella just snaps in half within two seconds. It would be a great thing for an infomercial. That is what it would be perfect for. Having an umbrella walking out the door snaps. But instead, you can buy this $50 umbrella. But you instead of getting one, you can get three for the price of one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That'd be funny. Thank you, uh, Helen, as well as Bruce, Justin, Lotus, as well as Kenneth for subscribing, by the way. Appreciate it. $2 super chat from, e from Evan for the new umbrella. Hey, I can replace the broken umbrella I already had. Thank you. <laughs> be pretty funny. Ella, I was saying umbrella. <laughs> That's funny. Umbrella, Ella, Ella, I can't say. No, 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 no. 
Enough with the umbrella song. Can the storms start in Utah? I don't think Utah's seen much tonight in terms of storms. Uh, anything on Arkansas in the future? Uh, nothing in the near future in terms of at least severe weather. I mean, there might be some isolated storm activity, potentially maybe tomorrow. It's going to primarily be isolated, though. It's kind of your sporadic, you know, isolated pop-up storms during the summer. That's kind of what we're looking at. Yeah, Megan, maybe. It might be that, too. I don't know. They've been naming winter storms for a while. I mean, obviously, the National Weather Service does not name winter storms, but uh, I don't disagree with it by any means, but I think it's a little bit weird. <laughs> just, it's a little bit weird. Not on the weird kind of side of stuff. Today's forecast, by the way, almost up to 4,000 views. Crazy. I remember last month, or even the month before that, we were only getting like 300 views per video. <laughs> it's so crazy to think how... Far this channel is coming just like two months. Oh, I don't really care about views. It's just, it's really crazy to think. I mean, this, again, the growth really came out of nowhere. I keep mentioning it, but it's really crazy. I saw that, Ruth. Hopefully more rain came more than anything and not a whole lot of lightning, but I really hope that that fire gets out pretty soon. Unfortunate. Hey, Kobe, you're totally fine. No problem at all. No problem at all. No need to donate. No need to donate. Again, it's completely optional. Helps our page out a lot, but no reason to donate if you can't. That's crazy, Ruth. Have a great night, Colby. Appreciate you stopping by. See you again soon. One second. All right, back. I'm sorry. And I have to keep blowing my nose. Just, I'm so sick. We are now up to a destructive severe thunderstorm warning in uh, Minnesota. 80 mile per hour damaging winds has now been observed. This is a uh, destructive supercell right now heading toward uh, Minneapolis. So again, destructive supercell currently ongoing. Moving off to the east. You got 80 mile per hour damaging winds. I guess that must have been a really recent report. Uh, that is, again, going potentially toward Minneapolis. That is a potentially a fairly dangerous situation here. Take a look at what we have ongoing here. This is not an extremely dangerous, or actually, this is an extremely dangerous situation. Okay, so those in this warning, again, get away from windows lowest floor possible. Again, this is an extremely dangerous situation uh, for those in Brownson, as well as Glencoe, Gaylord, Hutchinson. Hector's already probably been hit by this. Again, damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour are possible. This is a EDS. E that means an extremely dangerous situation. That's currently moving off to the east. Again, that air Minneapolis will be in the track of this later. So very dangerous situation ongoing here. We are currently in Minnesota. Uh, what time are you talking about Minneapolis? Minneapolis will probably see these storms right around, I would say, midnight or so. The storms are moving about 70 miles per hour off to the east. But again, we are talking destructive winds up to 80. Jug of water, by the way, has come really in handy recently. Got my water bottle. Yeah, again, 80 mile per hour damaging winds. This is again an EDS. That means it's an extremely dangerous situation currently ongoing uh, with this cell. We have recent confirmation of 80 mile per hour damaging winds. That is, again, an observed threat. Uh, we should be getting a report on that here pretty soon. 
uh, with these storms. But yeah, dangerous situation, as I mentioned before, going toward Minneapolis. We'll put another timing guide on this to give you an idea of when it can arrive to your location. Again, Minneapolis was projected for 1206. We'll see if that has changed at all. And Minneapolis still 1207. You're basically still on track to see this area of storms right or just after midnight. That's kind of your timing at this point. At Eden Prairie as well, 1157. Hutchinson, 1121, by the way. You're going to be there within the next few minutes. This storm, again, moving at about 70 miles per hour off to the east. Crazy. Have a great night, Douglas. Appreciate you stopping by. See you again soon. Yeah, this is a, definitely a wild storm right now going toward Minneapolis. Crazy, crazy. That's all I got to say. 80 miles per hour is insane. By the way, Wisconsin, uh, power outage update, uh, still over 30% without power in Sawyer County. Oneida County has a couple of power, or excuse me, Price County has uh, some power outages also coming in. Rusk County, that is just south of Sawyer County, Wisconsin, is also starting to see some power outages. That is a, a pretty small percentage, but there's a few people without power there. Washburn County still without power in some areas. All right, so the wind gust report is in Hector of 81 miles per hour. That is from an M or Minnesota dot wind sensor. So that is our late recent report. And yeah, that's going to go ahead with that 81 mile per hour wind gust. Again, this is a destructive severe thunderstorm warning. Again, an EDS, that means extremely dangerous situation currently ongoing here in Hutchinson and Glencoe. Hey, have a great night, Mish. Appreciate you tuning in. Begin soon. Have any lightning strikes? I'll take a look for you. Let me take a look. Uh, currently, there is 70, about 80 strikes per minute with this area of storms right now. So there's a lot of lightning. 80 strikes per minute. It's not a very wide area of storms, so it's obviously a lot of lightning currently ongoing with this line. Yeah, again, Twin Cities in the track list. All right. Again, 80 miles per hour ongoing. Uh, it's going to be going toward Minneapolis. Uh, obviously, we still have severe weather ongoing Wisconsin. That shouldn't be too much longer until it starts to weaken a bit. Those are producing winds around 60 to 70. And obviously, we still got the ongoing destructive supercell right now. Minnesota, 80 mile per hour damaging winds. That will be heading towards uh, Minneapolis. Again, going towards Coon Rapids and Bloomington, Lakeville, Jordan, Mound. All in the track a little bit later. 12 o'clock is the ETA, as I mentioned before, for Minneapolis. So, Dangerous storm in that direction right now. Yeah, the winds are insane on this. Thanks, NL Beats. Appreciate it. Yeah, we hit 15K tonight. It's crazy. Crazy to think. But uh, the somebody said, is, Destructive is really uh, the tier list that the National Weather Service has. I believe it's just considerable and destructive. And we are now at the destructive level uh, near Hutchinson. So. This is what destructive is. I mean, that's pretty much the peak in terms of the category levels. But you can also get an occasional like, you know, PDS or something like that. That goes more with tornado warnings, though. Yeah, there's not much worse than a destructive severe thunderstorm warning other than tornado warnings for the most part. Let's say definitely a pretty dangerous supercell right now. Again, tracking off to the east as of right now. Minneapolis, again, going to be in the track of this water town, probably right around midnight. So, again, destructive supercell. 81 mile per hour winds has been confirmed uh, by, again, an M dot wind sensor that's west of Hector. So, uh, we'll watch the storm pretty closely as it heads off to the east. I mean, dangerous cell. Yeah, rain, basically, rain is like white noise, basically. That's basically what it is. Rain is always nice to go to bed with. As well as, I mean, some people even think thunder is sometimes if it's like kind of light noise and stuff like that. But uh, we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning back near So Falls, by the way. Uh, this is for quarter sized hail and damaging winds around 60 going towards So Falls. It's near Monroe, Parker, Hartford, T all included. 
little sell over here some strong downburst winds maybe a little bit of quarter size tail going off to the east as a uh, brand new severe thunderstorm warning that's just been issued we are actually up to five severe thunderstorm warnings now and obviously one is destructive this is the other one though that we're looking at that is a uh, brand new warning here and we do have a new warning that does include areas near uh wasuu <laughs> if i can say the name right um that is for 70 mile per hour damaging winds and maybe a little bit of you know penny sized hail or so that's moving down to the southeast again considerable threat here still looking at some high winds Antigo is also going to be on the track of that. Rylander is still about to get hit by that as well. So that is our latest severe thunderstorm warning for damaging winds up to 70. All right, let's go back down to this one again. This one's producing 80 mile per hour winds going toward Glencoe and Hutchinson. Moving off to the east. Uh, Des Moines will not see much, Matthew. If anything, just rain. What's up? Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I just said, but there's a tornado possible tag on it. We'll take a look. I think it does say tornado possible. These storms have been said uh, tornado possible for a while. Let's take a look at the velocities, but uh, it's far away from the radar site, so it's kind of hard to tell. There's a little bit of broad rotation near Tomahawk, but nothing beyond that. I do think it's, for the most part, minimal. Again, if we do see any tornado threat, it should be, for the most part, limited uh, with that line of storms. Can't rely on isolated, you know, isolated brief for weak tornado but threat should stay low hey james how you doing welcome back uh for the most part we've had a couple of tornado warnings we are currently on a destructive severe thunderstorm warning 80 mile per hour winds have just been confirmed but other than that it's been for the most part uh just damaging winds and large hail i think the highest hailstone that we've had so far tonight was ping pong ball sized tail so i guess that's somewhat good news we haven't seen anything beyond that Obviously, pretty large hail uh, over that direction. Any hail is destructive beyond quarter size, anyways, or anything beyond nickel, I should say. As I mentioned before, damaging winds up to 80 is still possible with the cell. We have three. Actually, I think we're down to three. So, yeah, we're back down to three severe thunderstorm warnings. Yeah, one Wisconsin, one in Iowa, and one in Minnesota. And this is obviously the most concerning one. Most recent report was actually 67 miles per hour. So we are starting to go down a little bit on this warning, which is good news. And uh, I'm actually going to end the stream there. I do, but I, again, I'm sick, so I'm going to get a little bit of rest. But uh, I do appreciate everybody tuning in, as always. Uh, again, if you haven't already, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new here. Again, we might go live again tomorrow. I usually do live streams a little bit longer than this, but again, I'm a little bit sick, so I want to get some rest tonight. Uh, I've gotten a lot of rest recently, but I still need some rest. Uh, I do appreciate everybody tuning in as always. Again, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, like if you haven't already. If you did enjoy the stream, join our Discord server off the community stream, uh, or off the, excuse me, off the community, uh, you can go to our Discord server. Link is down in the description below. Uh, and also you can follow us on Twitter, we're on TikTok, we're on Facebook. Uh, again, the warning has gone down a little bit, so I'm not gonna get off for now. 61 miles per hour also reported. So it looks like the winds are starting to go down a little bit with this storm. Again, if you're in Minneapolis, just be prepared for 60 mile per hour damaging winds tonight. And that's kind of my only concern at this point uh, for that area. Otherwise, damaging winds, the main concern tonight, different focus for tomorrow check out my latest forecast i'll link it down in the description below again that has all the information for you uh of what to expect in terms of severe weather tomorrow i'm gonna link it like 20 times in chat so you can click it i just linked like five times on one post but i uh, click the link go watch our latest forecast it has all the details for you on what to know for tomorrow for michigan anywhere in the midwest anywhere in the ohio valley i have all the details for you there all right, i appreciate all the new members tonight appreciate uh, again everybody that subscribed tonight we've officially hit 15,000 subscribers Five new members, all the super chats tonight. Appreciate everybody tonight that's tuned in, all the viewers, everything like that. Appreciate you guys a lot. Have a great extra night. Again, uh, again, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm kind of getting off early, but I appreciate everybody tuning in. We'll see you guys again soon. Thank you again. Love you all. We'll see you again again soon.